Yo, what's good, everybody? Oh, I forgot Vortex is also a new emote. We got three new emotes. Because I'm an idiot. And easily entertained. Give me one second. Let me grab my tea. Everyone stay cool. That's a powerful combination of emotes there, Drawdrick. Oh, that's weird. I think that's new, right? If you click on an emote now, it tells you uh, if the person who used it is live. Roderick, I think you're reading more venom into that than I actually put into it. I just really like pixel art. <laughs> What's good, Dimax? This bracket's gonna be nuts, dude. I salute you, Dimax, for entering this. They'll simply punch people, yeah, what could go wrong? It almost worked on Keisuke, then you got it. Yeah, the song is, uh, Paradise Killer. Oh no, the wrong Jason got added in the Hoop Squad Discord. I'm gonna say hi, Jason. Hi, Jason. How are you? <laughs> Just some fella named Jason. This might be one of the bigger... Whoops, did I just take a screenshot? I think I did. Whoops. This might be one of the bigger uh, Boomer Cup brackets if we don't count the Ryan Hunter ones. Uh, which I just said hi to Ryan earlier, by the way. In case anybody's curious, Ryan's doing good. Oh no! My buttons are all goofed up. That's why I took a screenshot by accident. That's, yeah, I was actually, so a buddy of mine is designing a hitbox. Um, unfortunately, since he came over and we were testing it, it had, like, different mappings on stuff, so it actually kind of completely rebound all my controls. Give me one second. Okay, can I hit save? Oh, yeah, hit the big save. Always so weird to me that you actually have to save your controls in this game. Super weird. There we go. All right. Yeah, the numbers have been doing great. I'm really happy about it.
I'm doing great. Low key, I kind of woke up at like 3 p.m. today. <laughs> Which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But it was a thing. What's good, JD? How's it going, Lem? Lem, you ready to fight for your fucking life out here? You missed pre-start bones? What, you mean the before I even turn the stream on bones? That's like the secret, secret content. A good nap is a good nap. Recon, I have bad news. I did not wake up at 3 p.m. from a nap. I woke up at 3 p.m. straight. And I went to bed at like, 1? Like, I didn't go to bed that late. <laughs> I guess I was just tired. Um, what else we got? Hell yeah. Have I played Paradise Killer? No, but it's on my list. I'm gonna get to it. Right now, I'm focused on... I'm still playing through uh, Plutonia from Doom. And Fight Night. Uh, but I may add Paradise Killer to that rotation. I mean, I've literally heard good things. Did you hear that fucking song? Are you kidding me? Hello there, Rob. What genre is the game? I don't know. <laughs> you can be in the sauce now, Rob. You can just, uh, like, I'll just join in. As long as nobody's a shitter. That is, I like how that's a sentence that only me and Rob can understand. That is nothing for any of you. Open world mystery. Ooh. Okay, wait, actually, is it a point and click? If it's a point and click, I may have to duck out. I'm not gonna lie, I hate point and clicks. Okay, thank God. What am I playing 13 Sentinels? 13 Sentinels has two big things going against it. Um, one, I actually don't, uh, is that Vanillaware? Is that the name of the studio? I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, it's Vanillaware. I haven't been a big fan of Vanillaware stuff that I've played, to be honest with you, which I know is gonna be, like, fucking sacrilege to people. Um, but I'm just not a big... I'm not a big Vanillaware guy. I don't really like how 13 Sentinels looks, and I think for a game that's gonna be so conversation-heavy... Honestly, I would consider that, like, a bigger potential detractor than I otherwise would. Um. Bow. Bow, 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 bow. I think this song is a skeleton song, right? I think we gotta get up to the front there. I think it's a little too hard for Boombox Guy. I still can't believe Seamow stole my Boombox Guy for his Twitch emote. It's okay, I'll allow it though. There is a couple of, okay, you know what actually? I think we've been going too hard lately. I think we've been hitting it a little bit too deep, you know what I mean? I think we gotta chill for a second. And I'm feeling one song in particular. This is the most King song of all time. Hello, just wake in time for BC19. I'm, tr I'm trying really hard. I'm trying really hard to just extract the meaning from that sentence. But I got nothing. I'm gonna need your help. Boomer Cup 19. I get it. Nobody's ever acronymized it like that before. <laughs> How's it going there, Vision? Okay. 
Vision, this is gonna be a big one. And I don't know what to do. I stay knuckled up. For those of you who don't know, if you're here for the very first time and you're wondering what the hell's going on, this is just the pre-stream. The stream starts at... Uh, proper is gonna start in seven minutes. Should be when the tournament gets going. This is just the, this is the jamming out part of the stream. Oh, we have three new emotes. If you are a Bone subscriber, you should have access to three new emotes. They are to use as you see fit. Probably the most obvious one that you should spam everywhere is gonna be Solid B Vive Vortex. That's a big one. However, I think draw four and reverse have secret potential. I think that you have to unlock that potential. Is Vortex animated? No. He's just vibing. I don't even know how you'd animate that. I guess it's him triangle jumping. When I'm playing PS1 Uno for Huevis. I don't like Uno. <laughs> I d Unfortunately. Did I tell you all? Okay, wait. Real quick, um... Whatchamacallit? Real quick, uh, Bones lore. I... I was dating somebody, right? Oh, that's good, Newt. Thank you very much for the big, uh, signal boost. Getting a bunch more people in here. I was dating somebody, right? I was hanging out with their family, and they were all playing Uno. The good thing about playing Uno with somebody else's family is you can be at Uno really consistently second place, I think. And as, like, you know, you don't want to win at a board game with somebody that you're hanging out with for the first time, right? <laughs> That's not the goal. You want second. Because the reason you want second is because people are going to be like, all right, this kid knows what's up, right? They can fight. But nobody's going to be pissed at you. So I like Uno for that reason. I can very strategically be just under winning. I'm actually, I'm a pretty big sandbagger. I've talked about this before, but, like, I, I don't like the feeling of beating people very much if, like, it isn't a... If the person I'm gonna beat is gonna be mad or sad, then I will take second place, right? Like, I don't care. You're gonna dinner? Well, I'm gonna be entering the sauce in about two minutes, Rob. You got two. Did I tell you all my, uh, my sister? I was, I was playing her on Smash Wi-Fi, right? My, my sister is not, like, a huge video game player, but she knows what's up, right? Like, she can recover in Smash, which, to be fair, I think all of us know people who cannot recover in Smash, right? They just don't understand what an up or a B is. So, like, she can do that, right? She, she can fight it out. Um... I was fighting my sister, and this was over Wi-Fi, and I was intentionally being very softball-y, right? Like, she, I would be off the stage, and she would, like, jab me, and I would just go, like, oh, and die, right? Um, and we were going back and forth, and she was like, hell yeah, dude, I'm doing great. Like, I feel so good. And then her boyfriend got on, and she was like, hey, my boyfriend's getting on. He wants to fight you. And I fucking... I went in. I went in harder than anybody on Earth has ever gone in. I did not lose a stock. And this guy really knew what he was doing. And I was making him so fucking mad. I <laughs> just... just blood rage.
What was that? that was not at a wedding. This was just over Wi-Fi. Oh, <laughs> okay. Dude, it was a Saiyans moment. For real. It's like, uh, I don't remember Lem. That's amazing, though. I, I have to say, when it comes to real-life people, my Smash record is incredible. Like, and I don't, I'm not, like, best friends with anybody who's, like, a top player or anything, but, like, Jesus, I beat the hell out of everybody I know IRL, and that feels good. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get our co-commentator for the evening here in a chat. Do I play a lot of Smash? I did play a lot of Smash Ultimate. Um, yeah, in general. I played it online a lot. Uh, I mean, I, I've played Smash ever since I was a wee boy. I'm not actually good. I, I think I just know some funny stuff that catches people off guard, to be honest with you. Rob, is that you? Thank you very much for, for going off on that little tangent and giving me enough time to swallow my chicken teriyaki. <laughs> Hell yeah. How's it going, buddy? You doing good? I'm doing pretty damn good. How about yourself? How are y'all doing? Today? I'm also doing pretty damn good. Let's go ahead and switch the cam. How's everybody doing tonight? I know. Can you believe that it's Rob? I Rob, thank you so much for being on. You know, I know you're you're a busy commentator. I think you just flew out for Evo, the Moon. You know, the third yeah. Evo series. I, I I mean, when 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 uh, the Capcom got Sage Am, like they needed, they you know who they had to call. <laughs> <laughs> the cap cops rolled up. Uh, sir, I heard you talking about a uh, rollback. I don't know if you know this, but that's gonna be a banned phrase. You want to stream the LCQ? We're gonna stream your hanging. <laughs> that's a sick looking shirt. Thank you. I think someone in my Discord recommended this shirt, right? I think I have a lot of on brand shirts now. To be honest with you, I, I like didn't as of like a year ago, and now suddenly I've got like fifteen fucking shirts with skeletons on them. <laughs> Yesterday I was wearing my purple combo breaker shirt, the one with Morgan getting electrocuted, and now today I have a different skeleton shirt that I'm wearing on stream. <laughs> I just got the red combo breaker flannel, and that's about as on brand as it gets. Who's my favorite skeleton? Dude, you know what sucks? Okay, this is gonna, you're gonna have to all bear with me on this. I think my favorite skeleton is Papyrus, right? I think when you think skeleton, you do think Papyrus. Like, he's just, he is the de facto boneman, right? That would be what I would Actually, say. Actually, factually, yes. Actually, factually. What was I just watching or playing with Smang? Um, where somebody got obliterated by a ton- Oh, I- <laughs> I was playing Doom, and I teleported into a room that I shit you not had like 15 revenants directly around me, and they all just went poof and punched me in the face, and I fucking died, right? Like, the second I spawned in. And it was like literally the part from Army of Darkness where Bruce Campbell lifts his head up, and he's like, oh, and like 14 skeleton fists come up from off screen. It's exactly that. <laughs> How's it going, J.Dot Sweepa? Yeah, we've been over this. I love Army of Darkness. I grew up with Army of Darkness. Not the other ones, surprisingly. I didn't watch them until way later. I really only grew up with Army of Darkness. So, everybody, for those of you who don't know, you know, I think I'm actually gonna... I'll share this real quick. Um, I'll, I'll deal with the stream delay on this one. Yeah, give me one sec. I just wanted to look at this here bracket, everybody. This bracket is jacked and cracked. So we got Barbar, -Bar, right? Boomer uh -huh. Cup Boomer Cup Classic has won basically every one that he's entered. I think one went to HLR. If I'm not misremembering. Uh, uh, one or two. Um, And then we've got Lem Cliff. We've got, oh, who does Thumb play? Do you remember who Thumb plays? They've been on uh, stream before. Oh, Potemkin, I think. I think, Potem I think Thumb's a Potemkin. Thumb sounds like a Potemkin player name. That's, I think, because I said that. I think I was like, that makes a lot of sense. I think they're a pot player. Um, Titney is, I believe, a uh, Faust player, I think. Uh, Fargo be repping the Kai. Dake will also Kai. Exotic Jam, presumably Abba, by the little K, uh, the key. Naj, I know, is a hella good... Um, oh, Titney's Cliff? Okay, okay. Um, Naj, I know, is a hella good player, but I honestly forget who they play, because someone help me out with that one. Give me the assist. Moose, always be repping the May. Jason, Riot, sole player extraordinaire. Nosh Testament, okay. Uh, Disco Wonderland, that's a new name for me. I don't know who, an X-Talker as well. Not sure with either of those. Hitagi, also don't know. Visor, I believe, was a test player, Rob? Visor's Testament, yeah. Visor's Testament. Yeah, yeah. He's the one that entered out of spite to kick Newt's ass. You're right, okay, that's the burn the trees person. I'm associated. Yes. 
Rumper, hella good Robokai. Noah JD, the goofiest fucking soul in the bracket. In a bracket with three souls, this is the, on like the triangle of like your alignment, he is full chaotic evil. Yes. Um, Faust of the Gun, aka Newt, aka he's playing Faust. Uh, and then we got Wedge, Justice, and Dimax Slayer. Quite a diverse and stacked bracket. Absolutely. This, this is, we are cooking with gas tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this is gonna be nuts. I'm all about it. Um, cool, so we're just waiting for our first match here, I think, to get set up. Let me double check here in tournaments. Len is gonna be the first rematch, it looks like, uh, going up against Lord Thumb. Whoa. Let me go ahead and get the stream. Oh, Thumb is an Anji player. I think I said that makes sense also to that. <laughs> oh. I couldn't remember if it was Pot or Anji, because those characters occupy the same parts of my brain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and get this updated. This should be hella good. Whatcha? All right, at this point, we're just waiting for our yonder players to join in this here lobby. I'm, all we be I'm gonna mute myself and continue to munch. You know what? That's a good idea. Oh, looks like there's been a change of plans. It's going to be X-Talker and Disco Wonderland. Oh, wait, no, Thumb's here. Never mind. Back to the old plans. How's everybody doing? Everybody having a chill little Wednesday for yourself? I hope you are. Hope everything is right in the world for you. <laughs> Yo, Shay Moose. Thank you very much for the eight months of the Prime Aruni. Moose, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Chest hurts a bit to shit, but you're relaxed. That's good. We do have exotic jam. They are indeed in bracket. Ebenezer, you know what's funny? That's like a, I know that's a big streamer. Orson, I don't know who they are. I don't know what they do. I'm going to assume World of Warcraft, and I'll be honest, if you say that they do something else, I'm going to just keep thinking that they do World of Warcraft and never be corrected. <laughs> that part of my brain is locked. You do not have access to it. You cannot change it. All right, I think that's enough teriyaki for now. I want to, I want to save a little bit of it. I don't want to have to dip into the sauce too soon, you know? Joke's on me. They do Hearthstone. World of Warcraft. Right, I heard it. Paladin main, you say? Biggest paladin on Twitch? Okay, I'm with it. Yeah, they got they do be having the big sword though. I know nothing I don't know, about I, yeah, Warcraft or Paladins. What are we talking about, Rob? What? They got big sword, right? Confirm or deny chat. I need to know. I have no idea. I know they do the big healies. <laughs> Alright, it looks like our players are in the lobby. We're just gonna hit wait for them to hit the big connector Rooney. It looks like X Talker may be playing Justice. Oh. Well, I would, I, I sure would like some of that there. Uh, not like <laughs> well, stream local Discord. Please hit the button. Don't worry about it, Exotic Jam. Making noise in the chat for your friends is allowed. It's permitted. Just so everybody knows, if you're new here, because there are a lot of new people drifting in with these new players coming in, the only rule we have in this chat, other than the big ones of like, hey, if you say something really dumb, we will probably just ban you and not think about it too hard. Uh, but the big rule is you only allowed one copy pasta during the whole stream, so make it count. But we're gonna be getting into it, Rob. <laughs> I'm going to be sending it here, giving you the stream. Oh we're getting in with Thumb and L Lem. All right. Oh, Ooh, Rob, I can't hear you. It sounds like you're underwater. Oh. Oh, I got you now. Oh, I'm good. Yep. I don't know what happened. Okay. Um. I blame John Discord, CEO of Discord. 
Me too. You know, John Discord has had a long time. Uh, oh, okay. Actually, pretty favorable trade for Lem. That was actually really good for Lem to backdash there because uh, Thumb was trying to super jump out of the corner and he just got back to the distance where that wasn't an option anymore. The air tech traps. Lem is famous for those. You don't want to air tech against this individual. Wow, what a clown start. What a good, good blocks. Game, audio, and Snow Monkey are pretty low. That's surprising to me. Rob sounds pretty low to my ears. Or pretty loud, Am I, I mean. a little quiet? Check one, two. Is this thing on? All right, hold up. We'll crank that a bit. Well, the we'll... game's louder for me, too. And we'll crank Thank this you. a bit. All right, Rob, say Hell something. Yeah. I'm saying something. I'm saying words. Look at him just hitting him on the ground. That sound a little bit better there, chat? Now sounds good? All right, thank you. Appreciate the uh, yeah, we're in. appreciate the audio check. I swear to God, I don't know if any of you have really streamed. It's like it doesn't matter. Oh, what's good, Noah? Oh, wait, sorry. I thought... Noah, you've been here. Hi. I was confusing you with uh, other Noah. <laughs> Brain broke. Okay. Hey, that was a pretty good goal burst there. Oh, no. Absolutely. You got to be ready for that, for that wake up chop from Cliff. Like, it, he can break his back. Uh, with, with the whole, you know, stun RNG shenanigans going on there, but, like... Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta have the balls to run up and throw him on his wake up. Indeed. That's the and only thing that's weak to. Maybe enough to kill here. Not quite. He got scooped. I think he was Fujinin. That, that seemed like a clown setup. Not gonna lie. I think Len might have labbed that. I think he labbed the, uh, you know, the Rose Corsage into the Water Squirt. Are, are those Cliff's moves names? Yeah. Okay. Pie in the face is another one. Classic cliff moves. Come on, you don't you don't keep up. So so, so he's three stooges go to prom. Got it. Oh my god! What a what block a on that burst into just chucking it. Brutal. We don't count that as a burst throw. We don't. Still has their soul, but like unnecessary roughness. Uh, penalty. I don't know. It's five yards. Five um, yards sounds fair. Yeah. That, wow, that crossed up. <laughs> Was that a setup? It might have been a setup, but like keep in mind, uh, this game does have a certain level of cross-up protection on wake up in those kinds of situations. Uh, that's the kind of situation where you kind of don't want to FD. Yeah. Because FD immediately kills your cross-up protection. It do indeed. It also immediately kills Disco Wonderland for dropping a big follow. I'm sorry, rest in peace. Don't kill, we'll, we'll all remember don't kill you. Disco Wonderland. Disco's, <laughs> Disco's making a comeback. <laughs> don't kill him, it's coming back. 2021, year of the Disco. Like, I, I, it's been Year of the Disco since Random Access Memories was released, okay? I mean, you know what? There, that's a really good album. What about Disco Elysium? I never played it. It's on my list, though. It's something I want to check out. I've Obviously, I've only heard good things. I don't know if anybody's ever voiced an opinion that was bad about Disco Elysium. It 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 immediately hit Smang with the good vibes. It's, it Smang, did. after doing his, his video game journey, is a bitter old man he is indeed he's the, hard to impress he's a little jaded um so next up we're gonna be having uh it is gonna be disco wonderland and x talker Whoa. and the lobby do be having that cliff theme with the bass solo oh it do be all right yeah mid bass solo can't even let it rock okay i see how it is Disco Wonderland is going to be going with the ABBA, but ABBA Justice, famously one of the absolute worst matchups in the game for ABBA. Is the journey done? Yeah, I'll talk about it in a bit there. I wonder what that 2P match was for, because I feel like you just want to, um, instead of doing 2P there, you probably just want to do, um, oh gosh, memory's blanking. What's the name of the big move, Rob? Donzai? Yeah, you probably just want to Donzai, to be honest with you, right? Or 2H. Oh no, that black beat, that should hurt a lot. A little bit of a drop, but it's okay. X Talker is getting slapped in the corner here. Does not get the combo into command grab. Blood is running low. Okay. Into the double, re blood. Good block on the gold burst. That's Keep gonna be Goku. Pressure. Do, okay, yeah, I guess that angle's a pretty good option there, right? I never thought about that. I don't yeah. know if I've ever seen that before. Good use of the nukes here, just trying to keep out Disco, and you can see that Goku Moraha is running out. Had to end it early. Lest they end up with the cough. 
Wow, the full screen does connect, but a big drop from X Talker. Oh no, now they're stuck in the corner. Moraha is up. The Potemkin backdash works. Oh no, scramble situation. The backdash again, getting them out of that trouble. The plus is frames on the wreck. Again. Third time's a charm, you know? When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, a bar a throw. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Running under the high nuke, uh, that is an option. It is, but unfortunately, these knockdowns are racking up fast for Disco Wonderland. Gonna have to burn the burst here, or just take the Koof. Takes the Koof, gets a nuke in the face. Not the worst thing in the world, but Disco Wonderland is now out that far. <laughs> FB teleports again! I was gonna say, what's the play from X Talker? They're about to be stuck in the corner. Michael Sword to get out of the air, still has an air action coming down. Good wolf, that was a footsie, Rob! That was a fundamentals. That was a fundamentals. Punish. That was indeed a whiff punish, but it was not enough. X Talker's gonna take this first one. You only learned how ABBA works this week, crazy character. Yeah, this is a quick breakdown for those of you who don't know, because we will be seeing multiple ABBAs in this bracket. The way ABBA operates is that when she's in normal mode, she's pretty awful. Right, Rob? This is pretty terrible. Um, uh, kind, kind, of, kind of bad. Kind of bad. Her, one of her only redeeming features in normal mode is that she still has a really good anti-air. You just basically don't want to get AA'd. Um, as long as you can avoid that, you're pretty okay. Um... The whole gimmick of Abba is that she, when she activates Moraha, which she's in now, now she's going to be in Goku, which is a third thing. We're not at Goku yet. Uh, Disco Wonderland, you're skipping ahead in the lesson. Please go back to normal Moraha mode. But she can activate Moraha, which is where she gets really spooky. She gets a lot of very powerful moves, a lot of better frame data on her buttons and new normals in general. Uh, Goku gives her even more. Gonna get the RC there off the unblockable. Oh no! What a drop! Uh, but the big TLDR on how Ava operates, you see on the bottom left of that screen there, she's got her three blood bags. She can pop them at any time to go into Moraha, but she can also enter Moraha just like that by landing her command grab, which she can also combo into to enter Moraha for free. Wow, a good punish on the backdash there. 2H for the plus frames, gotta take this into Goku. No meter to dead angle, has to hold the plus frames. You can see how cranked X-Talker is, Rob! Help! Yeah. Oh my god! Ow, oof, ow. This is hurting my bones. And the classic FE5. That was a bold burst. <laughs> that was that, that was the heroist hero burst. That was a Windows 95 Microsoft Word Word Art burst. You know what I mean? I don't, but I'll 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 go with it. <laughs> because he here setting up shop with the nukes. Gonna have to wait a little bit here. Analyze the situation. I believe he's going straight into that top nuke rob. Uh, he is. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Epi teleport to keep out of the corner. And shot him with the Michael Sword. Michael Sword. Wait, what? Can they pause? No, that was a little bit of a net play hiccup. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, for context, uh, that is only happening on the spectator side. The, the players are not getting that. Yeah. So whenever and that we happens. Mean that for real, for real, not like a Smash commentator. Yeah, for sure. Okay, had to FRC the cough there, but this sucks. No blood bags, and Disco Wonderland stuck in the corner. The dust connects. X-Talker is going to take it 2-0. And you saw there the volatility of that matchup, right? Is that a word, Rob? Volatility is a word. I think that is an accurate adjective to describe that situation. We'll allow it, right? Uh, the one match that he won, right? He basically got in, activated Goku, and slam dunked her straight into the toilet, right? But every other match, you saw why people say that matchup is like an A2, right? It stinks. Um, the big example that people cite, probably one of the hardest, like case studies of a matchup ever skeletal minion in the japan versus us 25 v 25 like bulldozed through i think like eight or nine japanese players and then only lost when they rolled out the big guns of the big justice player in japan and then finally that they managed to stop them right yeah oops hada i'm surprised they kept hada in the wings for that long to be honest like every japanese player was like abba's a c tier what you gonna do <laughs> Skeletal minion just skeleton pleas at them until they died. Uh, they learned they have to play the matchup. Bit of bam bam. All right, I forget. Uh, bracket, actual official bracket names. We got Big Boy Fargo against Berserk 2016 Enjoyer, according to the Ooh. lobby. Wait, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm late on updating the thing here. Uh, we got these two mystery players. Ooh, who could they be, Rob? 
It is indeed going to be Big Boy Fargo, and it's going to be Kitney. All right, all right. Cliff player. Yeah, yeah Naj, we, I agree with that. We in Boomer Cup are uh, no strangers to the Cliff Menace, uh, but let's see if this this here new guy can uh, bring a different flavor of Cliff. You know, we've, we've had the chocolate, we've had the vanilla. Can this guy bring the cookie dough? The cookie dough, not like the strawberry? I feel like cookie dough is just a derivative. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know if I've ever really seen that route before into the words. That's crazy. I, I believe that puts him straight into cookie dough tier up. But yeah, the, the, I, I think he's reaching cake batter territory. You know what I'm Whoa. saying? Whoa. Big if true. It's got the cells. Oh, no. The CSC is going to go super wide there. Bari 2S. Order carry into the eggs. What's yeah. for breakfast? Got the dust out of the Gatling there, but didn't spend the FRC on the eggs. To, uh, chicken block on the ground pound. The plus frames. Oh, no. The Jimmy Utron's a little bit too far, Rob. That, that is the limit of uh, uh, Mr. Neutron, is he does have stubby limbs. <laughs> Can't believe he's not Nickelodeon yet. Like, come on. I mean, a Bari 5H that was clearly a wake-up throw works out. Does indeed. Wow, the FRC, just to keep the momentum. Timmy's got quite a bit of meter here going into the corner, which is never good. Backdash is a way there to stop the IED out of the corner. Schmert. Yeah, I was gonna say that, like, uh, when it comes to the Japanese versus, like, U.S. ABBA experience, like, for, honestly, from my perspective of commentating and watching a bunch of tournaments, ABBA and Justice just seem so common in the U.S. that, like, you're gonna have to get some experience with them, right, at some point in your life. Yes. You can't avoid it. <laughs> yes. And they're good. I forgot what a chicken block is. Is it Air FD? No, it's just, uh... Chicken blocking specifically usually means holding, uh, what would it be? Like, nine, right, on the joystick, so that you yeah. jump up back and you block when you're in the air. You can also look at the glossary.infill entry of it for more information. I also called it a TK block last week for no reason. That was a fuzzy wuzzy, Rob! Oh my god. Yo, the FRC into the IAD route? Word meanies? Yeah, doing very different cliff routes than we're used to seeing. Brave burst. I think he tried to jump up and throw that, but Fargo actually burst it a little bit too late. Wow! Oh. Whoa! Wow! That was a pickup! He just ran under that jump H. And the Fargo, unfortunately, looks like he's... Desperately trying to reach for answers. The Melty Blood counter hit. Not good. Good blocks, but now getting thrown into the corner. And this is the where Cliff can do the most damage. Oh, no! That's an overhead. That's another overhead. Oh, he might oh be stunned. God. He is indeed the words into the chop. Brutal. The perfect Ooh. to close it out. Tip me is looking strong. Just barely didn't have time to burst. Oh, sorry. Like, I was terrified that the words were going to get him his birth board that 6H connected. They did not, indeed. But that was pretty brutal. The Berserk 2016 Enjoyer. Wasn't that the bad one? Not to call somebody out on their taste, but wasn't that the one where most people were like, wait a minute. <laughs> How's it going there, Soda? Good old rump. But Fargo, always putting on a good show for the stream. Did not give up at any point. I feel like Fargo, unfortunately, when those rounds went so bad poorly, was like they just didn't get their pressure going, right? It was like the CSE whiffed yeah. or the Jimmy Utron was a little bit too far away. Just unfortunate stuff like that. Speaking yeah. of Rumper, going to be in here. This is going to be a full-on clown uh, matchup, Rob. I hope... You have your Tim Allen sound effects ready. I hope you have your clown shoes loaded with fresh squeakers. Immediate! It's gonna be some goofy shit. Oh my god! The Joa JD Classic, the full screen factor does not connect. Doing it again, just trying to blow out the speakers of the stream. I cannot believe you recovered in time. Are you kidding? No blocks the burst? Oh my god, this corner pressure. Oh my god, tried to FRC bandit in, but got counter hit by a missile. Probably one of the worst things that could happen. Okay, Bazooka Oki, you gotta keep him under control. That was a great offensive pressure start there. 6H, the TK over at Ganex, he's stunned, Rob! He's gonna die for that! Oh, God! Whew. 
I told you, break out the fucking clown car. Those of you who don't know, that overhead he did at the end there by doing a TK overhead killed him. Uh, that is a six-frame startup overhead. So, you know, only reactable if you're really good, right, Rob, like me? I, I mean, I can react to it in my sleep. But. I mean, I can react to it every morning, but I do know that I'm built different. Wow, the bed at FRC just to keep the pressure weird? That was funny, using the, the like, missile going wide to kind of, like, pin him down, but, like, it whiffed entirely, still using the threat of it to get his way in. Oh, no, he tried to 6-H FRC there to kill himself down, but it was not enough, still exploded. He was waiting for another one. He was like, you're gonna do another one, you clown. Oh, no, he got punished for that? That actually really sucks for Dragon install. Woo! Wait, he's he alive! He get knocked down, so he's still an install. Oh, there it is, there's the cough. Close to stun, and being that close to stun against Robokai is not good. Oh no, he got thrown out of his 2k! The heat laser? Oh! Ow. Yeah, he was deader than dead. Rumper takes the first one. The Rumper, I think, is a good matchup against Noah JD's crazy soul, right? Not just from character-wise, but just as a player. Rumper's able to kill you so quickly off of an opening, and Noah is playing intentionally with openings, right? Yes. So, like, the fact that Rumper can actually capitalize and kill him is making the scrambly style kind of less effective. Wow, did you see how At the same that... time, like, Noah's not used to people actually putting him on, on his toes like that. Well, yeah, usually his scrambly style works at least a little bit. He tried to wild throw the landing, but the other missile kept him in the air long enough that it actually whiffed. The meaty 2k, that made it plus! He still had time to block after that? Oh, there's the quarter ride stand. Not a good That's back dash. You back. cannot do that. He tried to slash back the dog. Do I was, was going to say the dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? famous dog haver. Yeah. Oh, no. Just the last There's hit. Landing recovery. Oh, my God. Wait, he's going to die. No, he still has time to block. Damn. Okay. Rumper is one round away here. Ray yeah. awareness. We're seeing that a lot from Rumper, using the medium missile to kind of like bait the DPs, keep them outside of the range, because uh, well, he's no also likes to like send it a lot. It's, it's two layers, right? He's using the bazooka to bait the DP, and then he's also hitting 5k twice to punish the landing, so that even if he does the delay on the DP, it still works. Dude! That was a what life jam setup. That fucking life jam bullshit. Oh, no! Oh, wait! This could be really bad for Rumper. No, okay, that's gonna be it for oh. the Dragon Assault. He coughed and now he's close to stun. He's dead. Yeah, that was a beautiful routing there from Rumper. Spent a little bit of the FB there just to cool himself down slightly and also get himself in the uh, missile the meter range. Combo, though. They dropped the stun that, combo. That may cost him. No sidewinder. The plus frames on the 2K. I haven't seen Rumper do a lot of AA 2K, but it looks like a really strong option against blocking. Nice. Cleaning it up. Someone has seen one, one, more than one too many of Kasoru's games. I don't know, Nash. I think that's uh, the exact correct amount of Kusoru games. You can never have too much Kusoru. Oh, it looks like we've got some fan mail here from Generic Soda. A line from Symphony of the Night, which I'll attempt to voice act for all of you now. Hmm, a switch. Why don't I press it and see? Thank you very much for the big fan mail there, Generic Soda. 10 out of 10. Oh, damn. This song? Come on, you kidding me? I mean, you can say that about basically anything but Holy Order, question mark. <laughs> I don't think you can get Holy Order's question mark in the lobby menu, can you? I don't think I've ever had. I wonder if that was like, that's funny, actually. I didn't think about that. I don't think you can get under construction either. I, I think the game is just aware of how many times that song is played on your copy because of certain individuals that uh, have the fast trigger finger a character select. Uh, I, th I think it's taken pity on you. On us both, as a matter of fact. Oh no, I just realized. Dimax, did you have to fight Justice? You did. Wait, you won! Whoa! Dude. 
Dynax won the Slayer Justice matchup? That is not a good matchup for Slayer. <laughs> Hell yeah, Dynax. Fighting for tooth and nail. Still in winner side of the bracket. Dude. Dude, look you look you. huge. Newt's going to be going up against Visor at this point in the bracket. Oh, shit. You're We're talking the grudge match early? You're talking about the sl uh, the fucking Soul Gauntlet. Rumper, having just beat Noah JD, is going to move on to fight Jason Riot. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Yeah, not only is Slayer just as bad, Wedge is good. So, I'm surprised there. Genuinely. Good work out there. Exotic Jam is currently up in the queue against Naj. Loser's Bracket B filling out here quite a bit. Not quite sure who we're getting on stream just yet. But there's a lot of really strong players in this bracket, man. I feel like this is going away. I think the chat is kind of all in on Jason Riot's in the bracket and they're going to win. I think everyone's scared, but I don't know. Plus, I was such a volatile game, man. First of two is brutal. <laughs> That's what made, dude, that's what made the 25v25 so good. Single a limb plus R is like, how do you get any more fighting games than that? That's just, you go fucking all out. There's no time. Just go. That <laughs> like, is, it's a work of art. Like, Jesus. It brings, it brings a tear to a grown man's eye. It you is just. Uh, Flam says he thinks that Barbar's -Bar has got this, but unfortunately, I don't know if Barbar -Bar is back yet. He said he had to stay late at school. So Barbar, oh, no. Barbar, -Bar, -Bar, unfortunately, may lose the pre-stream matchup of Barbar -Bar versus School. Oh, we got a that's match. An 11, that's an eleven negative one matchup for everyone. It's gonna be Exotic Jam versus Naj. It's gonna be Abba. Uh, Testament. That was that one. Yeah. Sorry, I got my brain got scrambled. Like round start record there, because that's gonna deny a lot of immediate round start trap setups from just uh from Naj. But this is now possibly worst case scenario. Spent the blood pack, that's gonna be a hard knockdown. Blood meter's already getting cranked. Great and fly. that that should be death. Right. Oh no! Oh, he missed a one hit. Oh there it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The drops into miracles, Rob. Drops into Gravedigger. Who, you know, is there anything more poetic in this game than drops into Gravedigger? Um, I'm gonna say, uh, two Barneys on your wake up, six feet apart. Oh, <gasps> beautiful yeah. option there, warranting in between the two hits of Don's Eye. That's actually fucking brutal for Abba. I never thought about that. That is a guaranteed answer. And that's gonna oh be it God. again, yeah. night, night. That's how this matchup goes, dude. Naj with a quick, quick one. Exotic Jam says LMAO. <laughs> <laughs> also, sorry, I accidentally gave uh, two X's in Exotic Jam's name. They were not two X's. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, this is brutal for Abba, right? Because her usual just get in and try to kill you uh, stuff, like... Testament puts you in such an Oki loop that if you're in Moraha, when he catches you at the beginning of the Oki loop, Oki loop you're fucking dead. Yeah. Also, you're gonna need to switch the uh, names. Oh, you're right, I am. I be. Okay, gets a throw here. This is a huge start. Can Jam get something started? Backdash into Warrant, the scrambly Testament stuff. Gonna be able to activate Goku here. Paration's getting pretty high, but can still pop on a bunch of chip here. Naj is going to die in the next guess. Is it going to be the unblockable setup? It is. And Naj, I think, intentionally got hit there. Burst was not happening. A little too high. A little too not high. Not Canadian. North Dakota. That actually really sucks. Because it entirely whiffed, you're going to see Naj does not have any burst on deck. Not too bad to get knocked down here. Exotic Jam does not have the blood bag activated. The awareness to block the web on the way out of the corner. Okay, a little bit of a matchup analysis here. You see uh, Testament, he be schmoovin'. Back dashing to the corner, the 2H got interrupted by the 2K. Taking the knockdown, there's the curse. <sighs> Tried to, the desperation, the warrant what? worked. Oh my god. Oh. Naj is just swinging. What? What? what, what a route. Using the other overhead of the bird that he saw coming with the Gravedigger wall stick to keep it going. That was fucking sick. 
that that was some awareness. Uh, if you guys don't know, when uh, Testament gets a curse, uh, once you see the first move the bird does, you know what pattern it's going for. So that was incredible awareness from Naj to know what combo to go for in that situation. For sure, and unfortunately, the like uh, the hashtag reload Barney loops are working. The entire Donze connects. That's gigantic for Exotic Jam. <gasps> what a Oh no! Goku actually got punished by the warrant! That sucks, because that's so much of the Goku meter down! Oh, is this a knockdown? Yeah, it is. He's not even gonna go for the IK. Kept it simple. I think he realized a little bit too late that it was actually out. And that's gonna be a Naj 2-0 over Exotic Jam. But Exotic Jam did get to fucking blow him up on round, so I say you feel pretty good about that one. Yeah. <laughs> GG's a good round, I'm happy? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You, you just take those Zaba, right? You live a life of extremes. You either break backs or your back gets broken. At the end of the day, as long as there's a spine on the floor, you're a happy boy. I don't know who this is in this room right now, but I hate their Steam name. Oh, David Honka Honka Serlin. <laughs> who do you think it is? Take a bet. Is it Dimax? Yeah. <laughs> It is going to be Divax versus Newt. This is going to be Slayer versus Faust. We were talking about some clown shoe shit. Break them out again. You're going to be putting them on a lot tonight. Okay, immediately activating IK and immediately activating IK as well. Is something wrong or was that the actual attempt? I think that was an actual attempt. Did that? Did they actually just try to do that and it didn't work? <laughs> Newt is still in IK. Dude is losing health this entire time. He is. Oh, the cross up connects and beats the super. Right. Oh, We're no. Honest guilty gear, no meter. What? The 6K involved through the 2S? Uh, that has like no lower body here. Why would you run up gold burst? Why wouldn't you? Oh, I was. Oh god, you still have the Tim Allen mod. Of course I do. Yeah, no punish on that. I think you would have had to do like 2S or something. Oh, trying to go for the funny bunkers, but nothing. <gasps> Bed pain connects. That's a lot of dizzy. Good back dash jump out there, avoiding the bomb bag. Going on in. Oh, that's a huge starter. Ooh. Wait, no, it isn't. I guess he's not airborne enough there. Uh, I, th I think he just hit six eight a little too late. You oh silly boy. He's only minus one on that. Oh, that connects. That's gonna be it. Newt's up one. No, oh, wait, sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody. I've lied to you. Thank you very much, Neko Fire May Cry. Appreciate it for the big follow. We're 15 followers away from the big 2K. Can y'all believe that? That's a big fucking number. That's a big number. Wow, dude, he had a block. <laughs> it's okay, game. I have to wait a second, too. <laughs> Robo Kai popped him up. Did indeed, Dimax in the corner. Oh no, getting bullied. Okay, great, great. Oh my god, that was probably the most optimal shit he could have done. Full completion? This is what? a man transformed. This is a man transformed. <gasps> Dimax, Dimax, making this comeback happen. Different? <gasps> no punish on the crosswise. Crosswise is surprisingly not that minus, so it can be a little hard to punish. He gets the anti air goal burst. He tried to combo off of it. The big bang up for good <laughs> next, Dimax. Oh, honka honka indeed. Newt says, Dimax is out clown shooing me. Help. I'm Dude, unfortunately, if you're trying to clown up to Dimax, that's a hard fight. Do you know how many fucking horrible Kusoge games Dimax has played? Like, the front lobe of his brain is just deteriorated. He's got nothing. His entire prefrontal cortex is dedicated to Waku Waku 7 frame data. Oh, what? Why did that work? <laughs> Oh no, the, the mini fast fucked up his combo. Oh. Gotta get the cross up. Okay, yeah, the 5D is good there. Because 5D is good in general against Slayer. Slayer is weak to stuff like 5D and backdashes um, because his moves tend to have very oh, few actions. Two sets of meteors on the way up on that first one. Help, help! Oh my god, did you check the weather this morning? No, before you go, looking ass. <gasps> Ooh. Alright, Newt's fighting it back. 
But uh, like I was saying, Slayer is weak to things that are in low like that for a period of time. His moves tend to have very few active frames. One of the only exceptions is 2D, but it's not like you really just want to be going for 2D in those kind of situations, because the reward's rather weak. Again, you're seeing it. Bunker specifically, very weak to it. Good use of the Robo Sun. Good block. Not a huge punish on Eternal Wings, but... Okay, activating IK from full screen. He's feeling it. You know... Sometimes you gotta full send, Rob. <laughs> he he sent it and, and just threw it into the ocean. Now Newt clowning it up. Nothing. No meter anymore, Rob. They're finally playing some honest fucking Guilty Gear. That's gonna hurt so bad. Oh, and this sucks to be in, in this situation when you don't have FD. <laughs> The game goes, uh? <laughs> Newt ties it up 1-1. One, one. <laughs> you almost got the taunt anti-air, but Dimax Galaxy Brain Gold Bursting. <laughs> We're hitting a level. We're hitting a level here. Yeah, great run there, Noah. You were looking good. All right, the final match of this clown fest, Rob. Now we get to decide who is Shin Clown. <laughs> oh no! What? <laughs> that was almost a punish. <laughs> wow! Hit by the own bomb. Crosswise works there because he's been trying to fight you through the bunkers. Unfortunately, that was an OTG bunker. Nothing before. Dimax is just hitting S step. Good chuck. Taking the throw. Good in full through the 6H. I feel like Dimax has a good matchup against Newt the Root the person because Di Oh! A little bit delayed, so it caught what the 5D. He's got a good matchup against him, right? Because Dimax is gonna do funny shit, and I think Newt gets easily baited by funny shit. <laughs> he tries to counteract with the funny. Newt is a stand up comedian, and there's a heckler in the crowd that's funnier than him. Damn, brutal, Rob. <laughs> wow, the unblockable connects IMAX blocking a little bit too much. Rare footage of a Slayer player blocking. Wow, the 2H I from, like, full that screen. Was a <gasps> Counter hit crosswise. That's a big starter. Again, 5D really good against Dandy follow-ups. Wow. He stayed up in the air too long. Newt was like, you're not going to know which way I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, for sure, Zs. Crosswise connects, counter hit. Ooh! Retro keeping him there. He tried. I respect it, Dimax. A pixel more forward, he would have gotten it. I'm surprised that didn't. <gasps> oh no! I feel like that was that's a, a disastrous Oh my god! He's, he's dead. super dead! Oh! That's the worst thing possible to get hit by! <laughs> Dimax is gonna take it over, Nude! <laughs> The hecklers win. The hecklers win. Yeah, this is Can you perfect. believe that? Hey, Base Station X6. Thank you very much for the big rate of two. Hey, we don't have any free tables yet for your party of two, but we do have some seats at the bar. Um, They're covered in gum. I'm just warning you right now. This is unfortunately a problem for you, not for me. They're, they're made of chewing gum. All the seats are here. It's kind of the theme of the restaurant. We don't get many customers. Welcome to gummies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the big rate. That was a pretty big clown match, I'm not going to lie. And it looks like Barbar. -Bar. Ooh, looking at the bracket, it looks like Lem took a game off of Barbar, -Bar, but was unfortunately knocked down in the losers by him. And now Barbar -Bar is going up against Titmy. Barbar -Bar is running the cliff uh, gauntlet. Jason Riot has to owed Rumper. Rumper is now down in losers. Jason Riot's gonna be going up against Dimax in his next match. Oh, damn. Now, here's the interesting question. Will Jason Riot, I don't know their personality. I've never really watched them play too much in like random, um, was Dimax the original Boomer Cup clown? Yeah. Uh, whatchamacallit? 
Does Jason Riot get baited by people being funny? Will they counteract with their own funny soul shit, or will they keep it straight laced, keep the suit on, and the clown shirt underneath? I feel like if you just go by Jason in bracket, you have a suit, a tie, and a bow tie all at once. All business. They'll optimize right. their combos when they kill you and touch you? Fair enough. Down and losers, everybody. Let's pour one out for the souls that have already gone out of this tournament. Um has got out of this tournament. Newt's about to be out of this tournament. He doesn't fucking leave the lobby. Get the hell out of here, Newt. Uh, Moose is unfortunately gone out. Disco Wonderland took it in the 2-0. Hitagi knocked out Big Boy Fargo with the big 2-0. Newt, it's your one job. Then Disco Wonderland was knocked out by Dayquil. Dayquil's going up against Newt in the next round. Noah JD did get taken out by X-Talker, but Noah JD did take one game off of him, so we take those, Rob. Two one, it was close, though. Was close, though. Why is that an option yet in Challenge? Challenge hates fun. Naj has, uh, yeah, we saw him knocking Naj Jam out. Naj is going up against Barbar. Bar Barbar Bar did beat Tip Me in the 2 0. Naj, have you fought Barbar Bar before? I'm going to assume yes. But maybe I'm wrong. If you haven't, it, it is an experience and a half. We do have two souls running around in bracket that are very spooky. Long while ago? Fair enough. Very happy about winning in winners for once. You usually go straight into losers. I'm happy to hear it, Exotic Jam. Unfortunately, Exotic Jam, <laughs> your future looks shitty. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm an honest streamer because you, you have to win. You have to fight the winner of a Testament versus Justice match. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, man. And we are going to be getting Barbar Bar and Naj on stream right now. This is going to be a match to remember, everybody. Oh, my God. All right. On, 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 a, on the clown scale, yep. on a scale of one to clown nose, uh, Barbar do be wearing the shoes, but I think he forgot to put on his makeup sometime. Great escape from Barbar, and he baits the Gold Burst and immediately explodes him. Honestly, he's probably baiting Gold Burst or 2 Age or, like, really anything Warrant. But the fact there that there was Gold Burst is great for him. Wild throws! Okay, wait, that's still going to be coming out. Oh, no, there it is! <laughs> The game had to pause for the jump scare. Yeah, game had to wait a second for that to jump scare us. That's going to be a hard knockdown. Going to be the Grokey. Oh, he's only got two of the puppets, but that's still huge. Got the tree. There's going to be a tree. It missed. Wow. EPRC backdash? Wow. Oh, no. The back tree. I think that's going to be it. This poison damage should do him in. It does indeed. Yeah. Immediate round star 6H. Oh, wow! Slash back on the 2D! It was! Wow, he actually punished the 2H because he DP'd and made it whiff. Really says something about society that... Uh, <gasps> nice! He has less recovery than his 2H. I cannot believe that Ryan Sam works. Went straight over the Barney's Rob. He was thirsted for that burst. <laughs> Oh no, unfortunately he did get the clean hit there, but no tech from Naj, surprising. That's a hard link. <laughs> if anybody's ever drawn into training mode, wow, what an air throw in that mega sucks. Big tree down. Oh, George of the jungle. But I think he's gonna go, no, it did hit, he's dead. <laughs> it's a combo. Yeah. He's super dead. Hold on, I have to wait a little second just to make sure he's dead. Let's check the health. Oh, he's alive, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Game had to think about it. He was really thinking about it. I don't know. This, this match is a lot of ponderance it's here. Disconnected. No, we're okay, back. There we go. I feel like for Will a Kill, we need something a little less crusty. That would be funny, Will a Kill, though. So, okay, you can see the evolution of the round starts here. The round start, uh, whatchamacallit, 5D there to beat the 6H. Trying to slash back the 5Ps. 
reversing on the way down. Kind of an unexpected uh, spot to do it. Smart stuff or not? Yeah, finish your Popeyes? Like, Popeyes the food? Or did you just, like, binge watch the first season of Popeye? Whoa! I'm surprised that Warren whiffed. Did they even have seasons on shows that old? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wow, that was such a good starter for Nods. That is an unreal amount of damage for Testament, honestly, without any poison. Oh my god. And he gets the one hit. Yeah, one hit Badlands there. Warren RC! Gonna poison him, now he's on a timer. And I don't think that's gonna be death, not quite, but he's, it's close. Okay, Naj, one round away there from beating Barbar. Barbar's gonna have to dig deep. The, uh, not even a bar a 5D, just using the 5D as a backswing blow to avoid the throw. Mini DP. What's corner pressure? That was... I'm surprised he was high enough for that tree to not hit him. Bandit Bringer in the air. That's Mega Plus. The backdash doesn't work. Oh, dude, what? Dude, how was he on that side? Are you kidding me? I think the jump P that he used to kill the web shifted his hurt box just enough. Do I bar? What a punish on the burst. Oh, great fight for connects. That should be it. No. Heartbreak and drop. Barbar usually known for his goofy completions. Great blocks though, couldn't block forever. Did not block against Testament forever on- Whoa, no, that's a top of the football. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> what was that scrambly shit? Naj is gonna take it over Barbar 2-0. Good shit from both players. Barbar -bar is not out of this yet. Uh, Megamark, thank you very much for the big follow. I appreciate you. Hope you're having fun watching the stream. Hope you're having fun watching some good ass Guilty Gear Accent Core Plus R. This tournament, for the record, does happen every Wednesday at just around 7:30 EDT. If you want your weekly dose of Plus R, is it EST or EDT right now? I don't know. Why do we change the time zone depending on daylight savings? I hate this. 7.30 EST. Whatever. One of those. Did you all see uh, Daigo's... I'm going to pronounce this wrong. I think it's Kevin Amici, right? Daigo's big exhibition thing. Did you all see on Daigo's Kevin Amici announcement? I think he typoed, like, twice. Like, two barely big typos. Because at the end of the trailer, it's like... The tournament is on December 30th. Or, like, uh, the exhibition is at December 30th. And in parentheses, it says December 18, PST implying that only for people in PST, it's on December 18th. <laughs> uh, I mean, Daigo, he's he's a trendsetter. He's a mold breaker. Uh, he's the only one to introduce quantum tournaments thus yeah, far. Yeah, you know, and quantum tournaments, finally. We've been waiting for a while, and we are going to be getting Jason Riot up here now. Is Jason Riot actually sponsored by Nike? Hold on, let me get, <laughs> let me get the names off the thing here. He also, his name is Nike Jason, right? <laughs> Let's see if he can control the goof factor that is Dymax. What awareness to block the birds! Yeah, people have said in chat that Jason is incredibly patient. You're seeing it here. Just blocking it out, chilling. Big punish on the clockwise. No clean hit. What the hell? <laughs> hit him from the backside with the sidewinder? What do you mean? I mean, that's why they call it a sign winder, right? Well, that was a lot of hitting him right in the face. That was a lot of not letting Dymax get started. Ooh, hit by the cross-up bunker. Did Footloose journey on the way down? Yeah, that's a really good answer to um, dandies in general, because I think it would go under crosswise and also go under bunker. The Gunflame FRC catches him. He was waiting for that person. Dust looping him. That's a lot of damage. Burst works. Okay. It's him with the old SH. Wow. Well, just like that, Jason really quickly up one. Dimax, unfortunately, not really able to get the funny started against an opponent that's going to make him bleed that bad. How do you make that typo, Lexi? The fact that Daigo, like, the fact that that's in there in Daigo's trailer, that isn't just a typo, right? That's like, <laughs> that's like 
two solid mistakes or something stacking on top of each other to make that happen. Too much information, Bay Station. Keep it to yourself. Also, how's it going, man, man, boy? I hope you're doing really good. Been a while. Sorry, yeah. Street Fighter died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rai Samp there, smart idea. Beats 2H clean. That's a huge starter. We're seeing the mileage that Gunflame FRC does in this matchup. Just hitting down. Wow, what a conversion off the Gunflame. I was thinking he wouldn't really be able to do much there, but the Bandit Bringer, ow. How the fuck did he get a knockdown off of that? He was so high. I don't know. Well, he's dead. <laughs> Unfortunately, Dimax at this point looks like he's kind of scrambling for answers, trying to think of stuff. Round start, IK! Jason Wright immediately just runs up and starting to hit him. And because he's in IK mode, he's just going to be losing life here. This is self-inflicted poison. This is, is pain. Is Dimax just deposing? I don't know. He may be trying to do wake up IK. Who knows? But Jason's not having any of it. We'll never know. I think he was wake up deposing. I mean, I don't think it's hard to safe jump Slayer's IK, so I think he was just safe jumping him. Keep in mind, everybody, the reversal window in this game is not lenient. Well, Jason's looking strong. Slayer IK is a reversal? I want to say it is. I want to say it's like, uh, look that up. it's got invul. I could be wrong. It's weird. It's I've seen it go through shit. <laughs> Dimax says, ow. Hey, Dimax, for what it's worth, though, let's talk about this real quick, everybody. You want to wanna really quick talk about this fucking bracket? Can we do that really fast? Let's shout out the boys. Dimax made it this far. Took it over Wedge, took it over New, got up to Jason Riot. Dimax is looking strong. You got Naj and Jason Riot uh, heading up winner's finals here. And then... Down on the loser side. X-Talker, unfortunately, is out of the tournament at this point. So is Rumper and New. New 2 owed by Dayquil. What? Wow. Wow. Damn. Rest in also, peace, Valley Soldier. Also, I it up. Uh, Slayer's IK is only involved from frames 10 to 17. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Um, Visor taken out by Wedge. I feel like that's relatively surprising. We now have Exotic Jam versus Wedge, which would be the second Justice matchup that an ABBA player has had to play in this bracket. I wish you the best of luck. Um, again, this was this was rough either way. This was Visor Wedge. This is no good endings for our friend Exotic Jam here. I feel like nobody in this tournament is having good endings. <laughs> Dayquil's gonna be fighting Hitagi. Does anybody know who Hitagi plays? I am unfamiliar. Rumper, if you're in chat, or I don't know what Rumper's uh, post-tournament loss tradition is. I usually just go to Dunkin' Donuts and get a bunch of donuts. Itagi's a Slayer player? Okay. Good to know. Yeah. And Titmi's gonna fight the winner of Exotic Jam and Wedge. Dimax and Barbar -Bar waiting a little bit down the line. Well, that's the bracket analysis. Brought to you by... I don't have anything funny on my desk, Rob. I don't have anything, like, branded. Snapple Peach Key. Uh, hold on. I, I do, in fact, be having a Snapple. I don't have my webcam hooked up. You're all going to need to take my word for it. That was the bracket analysis brought to you by Scooby-Doo and the Gourmet yeah, Ghost, now available on DVD. <laughs> and brought to you by Sajam with a big, huge raid of 1,391 gamers. That's a lot of fucking people. How's it oh, going, everybody? Boy. Zoing, Scoob. Okay, since all of you just got here, I just did a little bit of bracket analysis, but we'll take a look here just so all of you can get caught up to date, okay? That sound good to everybody? So, winner side of the bracket, we've got Naj and Jason Riot. Stupidly strong Testament oh, versus a stupidly strong uh, Soul. I was going to say versus a stupidly strong Jason Riot, which I might as well just would have said. Um, they're chilling out on the winner side of the bracket. Down here on the loser side. We have got Exotic Jam, Abba, Wedge, Justice, Titmi, Cliff, Dayquil, Kai, Hitagi, purportedly a Slayer, but we have not seen them on stream. And then waiting later on down the lines, we have Dimax, Slayer, the Shin Clown, as we have dubbed him of the tournament. He is Pagliacci, and you will be him and be crying. 
Bar Bar waiting down there, also stupidly strong soul player. That's where we're at in the bracket so far. And we're gonna have to wait to see how it concludes. That sound good to everybody? How's everybody doing? I hope you are all doing good. I hope the stream was good there, Sajan. Thank you very much for the big follows also so far. Shin, Nona Chan, Andres, JMB20, and Finter. Andres, you also added me on Twitch. How's it going? Hope you're doing good. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ashley Zora, thank you also very much for the big follow. We're just waiting here for our next match. We're chilling. No Faust. There were Faust. There was Newt Faust, uh, who was earlier on in the bracket. Unfortunately, uh, Newt was taken out by Dimax to the loser side of the bracket. And we're going to be getting Daigle versus Hatagi. Hatagi is indeed playing Slayer. We have confirmation from our boys on the ground. So, I think this is a super interesting matchup for a couple of reasons. Um, Slayer can slug with Kai very well, right? Kai's damage output makes it so that whenever he's wrong against Slayer, his life is proportionately worse, right? Um, yeah, I had to RC the bunker there. But, something to also consider is that Slayer is still weak to getting zoned. He hates it, uh, and Kai can do it. So, if he can put up a wall here and also just kind of lock down Slayer on Oki, although Slayer can always weasel his way out. Uh, backdash cancels are extremely strong, even against Kai's infinite active frames. Wow, that was a great pick up there. That was so far away. I thought he was going to drop out. This reversal, Jimmy Neutron, but nobody's home. The FRC going to let him get the throw. Slayer, unfortunately, kind of had to hold that. Good dead angle. Good dead angle. Taking the... Was that a safe jump off the dead angle? Ow. That was great awareness to know that you could get that pick up uh, off of the 6P uh, wall bounce. Wasn't it? Oh, my God! What a gamer! <laughs> Didn't really get anything off it, but what a gamer! Sometimes you just gotta do it to show that you can. 2 h nothing for it. I wonder if he was trying to bait the burst there from the Hadagi. Plus, we do have these instant blocks, though? Throwing the slash back, nothing that time. Okay, gonna be waking up. We got the little bit of the net play analysis moment here. Got hit by the cross up. I wonder if he was trying to wake up backdash. Maybe he got forward dash by accident. Wake up backdash, wake up FD. All both of those would have got FD back. clockwise. That's a big starter. Oh, he freestyling. Try to do the J2K pickup, but I think that's a little weird on Kai. Kai Kai's awkwardly heavy. Slayer tends to like heavy characters, but I think Kai's hitbox makes it weird. All right. Hey, Algebra Two, how's it going, gamer? Yes, we do have this. Oh, oh, that's gonna work. Oh, he tried. No, you don't want to get reset by that. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been so bad. <laughs> he was trying to land 5H into pile, uh, not pile bunker, uh, undertow. Unfortunately, he's got raw undertow. The delay made it whiff, Rob. Immediately bursting, not even letting him get the knockdown. No momentum for you. Momentum indeed. Hit by the pad infinite. Yeah, that was a great anti-air Mappa. Mappa on the ground is a surprisingly weird move. Obviously, you can backdash cancel it to make it this just invincible Balrog rush punch, which is pretty good. But uh, Mappa on hit is minus one, I think, for punch and minus three for kick, if I remember my frame data correctly. So it's not usually ultra advantageous to do without meter or just as an, uh, a neutral skipping option. The oh. block on the green sever. Wow, 6P, huh? Oh, no! Huge starter. He gets a 5H into Undertow. This might be death. Drop, unfortunate. That was going to kill. He tried to slash back the second hit. He tried to get Q. He did it. I mean, Hitagi's got the life to go for it, right? That's like the ideal time to slash back. <gasps> yeah, that does not work against Wake Up FB Dandy. Dead. Hitagi, one round away here. Northern Lights catching him. Is indeed unfortunate drop. Wow. Again, we're seeing we're seeing some good awareness from Dayquil to send out those lights and use the active frames to kind of pin down Slayer's goopy movement. Effie Northern Lights there saving him, knocking him out the combo. We able to ever see him to get the combo here. This is looking all good for Dayquil, but obviously, but Hitagi does not have too much meter. Gets spends it on the FB crosswise there, but Slayer without meter can't do absurd damage. He, he does good damage. 
Like, that's some pretty good damage. Now Hitagi just <gasps> laying it out, not Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no! You lights! Yeah, there you go. Just oh, like that, oh, the overhead oh, connects. Oh, 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 oh. Itagi taking it over Dayquil 2. Oh. Brutal. Thank you very much, by the way, for the big follows. Lay 104, Mace Hest, and JTD Cat. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Itagi is going to move on here. That was some good ass slayer play. I'm all about it. 100%. What the hell memes are getting posted in the tournament channel? I just see Naj and. I think Naj and Jason are like shit talking each other. I see Jason just posting a picture of Goku Kaiokening. I was about to say posting a picture of Kakarot Kaiokening, and I feel like all 697 people in chat were gonna judge me and be like, what? <laughs> Why did you just call him Kakarot? I roleplay as Vegeta just day to day. That's my, you know. That's my normal. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the first time I met you, you you were like, "Hi, I'm Vegeta," and I'm like, "Okay, dude." <laughs> you live your own life. And I think we're gonna be oh. getting. We are. We're gonna be getting Wedge going up against Timmy. There's gonna be Cliff Justice. I I, I just walked up. I'm like, "Yo, what's up? I'm Chaozu," and like, you know, those, these are the lives we lead. That's where we start the day, and wherever it goes, it goes. You know. Whew. This has been a hell of a bracket so far, everybody. Suddenly, a lot of very strong players have noticed that Boomer Cup exists, and they're just like, tournaments with pras uh, with uh, cash prizes? Hell no. Boomer Cup? I gotta win Boomer Cup. You know, the prestige speaks for itself, bro. I mean, you get the early bird special at Sizzlers from this? Yeah, can you believe that? Now, does this, get... this is a Boomer Cup matchup classic. We've seen this matchup many a times in the past. We have. Uh, two very popular characters in Boomer Cup. Uh, Cliff because he's old, and Justice because if you play them, you are old. Wow! Just pick up off the new. Timmy is actually <laughs> close to stun, surprisingly. Justice, not usually a character known for their stun output. No, but uh, Cliff does, in fact, crank his own stun with some of his moves. Correct. Uh, Flam, by the way, saying that winner does get a sub to Pokimane. Flam, please don't spend the $5 every week. I'm going to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> Buy, like, five Snickers instead. Oh! Hit by the egg. That's actually huge for Titmy. Now I'm going to have this big Oki situation. Oh, no! Hit by the overhead! Dude, if that Michael Sword came out of frame later, I think Wedge would have fucking exploded. The howitzer goes wide, but the eggs are ready. Knees weeks. Oh, stunned. Dead. But also, yes, plan. If you don't spend that five dollars on chicken nuggets tonight, I'm gonna be disappointed. I am too. But she owns Evo. LOL. Does that mean that everyone needs to? <laughs> <laughs> to just keep giving her five bucks? <laughs> Is that... <laughs> like when Wizard owned Evo? Did we all just give Wiz Wizard five bucks and go thanks? Oh my god, the egg doesn't eat the nuke! Timmy, very low on life, but this can be like a one guess situation here. Because he, uh, Cliff, very good at racking up damage and some of the corner. But the 5 DPS burst out. That is not what you want to get hit by. Down. Dead. Dead. I told you. Nobody believed me. I said that. Everybody in chat was like, you're dumb. Timmy can't make this comeback. That is the worst possible thing that could happen. <laughs> that was like, how, how do I TAS my own demise? I 
I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on stream, but friends of mine a while ago, they made a YouTube channel called Tool Assisted Suicides, where they TAS games that die as fast as possible, but just labeled them as TAS. <laughs> and, like, all of the comments they got on this, they thought it was a funny idea, but all the comments they got were, like, people being actually mad. <laughs> like, this is not a TAS. <laughs> That was that was so good. Oh, stuck in the corner. The like to dislike ratio was horrible. Very bad. Uh, tip me, stuck in the corner here. Oh, that is not a good trade for Tip me. Gonna be able to get the oak here. I feel like the six P was a little aggressive there with the meter that uh, Tip me had to spend. One hundred percent. That was either a wake up super or that could have been FD, FD chop. That could have really hurt. Yeah. Wow. Michael Sword. God. He's zoning, but using the project... Not content to sit back. Using the nukes to approach. Try and force the situation on Cliff. The howitzer is still too short. It is indeed the big 6P. There's a sub to Pokemon cover you entrance fee. No. <laughs> you still have to pay our entrance fee of uh, one Sizzler's coupon. Uh, three cans of prune juice and the keys to your 1972 Chrysler. <laughs> We've got very specific entrance fees. I'm Peter Pinnam in the corner. Michael Sword just knocking them all the full full screen. <laughs> Dude, someone in chat say Justice looks exhausting to fight against, and then fucking Naj, the Testament player, says, I don't know, she's using pretty easy. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Naj. <laughs> Keep it down over there. <laughs> uh, Hasu EXE, thank you very much for the big follow. Back in the corner here. One guess away from probably death here. Ooh, that might be it. Is that gonna... Either of them, honestly. Yeah, important burst. Like, at this point, it's an uphill battle for Cliff, because, uh, yeah. Justice full screen, chucking nukes. You saw there, that was a wonderful. That's going to be how he wins. He stuck out the 5S there to intentionally early detonate the nuke. Try to go for the fuzzy, but Wedge uh, managed to block it out. And now, these nukes, the chip is becoming a huge concern here, and that's it. Wow. Zoinks. Naj, nah, I feel like you're you're defended on both ends of the spectrum. Because whether you're bringing Bridget or Testament to the Justice matchup, that Justice player fucking hates you. <laughs> Big trade on the Michael Sword. Still a favorable situation for Wedge. Has to give Sig three olives from the Chuck E. Cheese salad bar. Does Chuck E. Cheese have a salad bar? <laughs> wow! The Abari throw works. Avoiding the up nuke, but still. Oh! Avoiding the up nuke, but unfortunately got hit. By. The low nuke, now getting pushed increasingly into the corner. Tipney has already taken so much damage that Michael Blade is going to stack on just a little bit more. How is there connected that time? But, I mean, is it too little too late? Oh, he sent it, Rob. What? He no. sent it and he stuck his hands in the blender! Why? Dude, the vortex? Tipney, are you actually going to scramble your way to victory? Tipney, what are you doing? What? <laughs> the eggs from downtown? How did that happen? What was that round? He called DoorDash and got his Denny's delivered from 10 miles away. Dude, is 6P in through the up nuke? That was really smart. Trying to drill his way through, not working out. There's the drill. Oh no, he tried to go for the fuzzy, but surprisingly, Justice actually went under him. Didn't he wind up in the corner? Managed to get back out, though. Now they're just slugging. Wedge is kind of scared to throw the noose, but gets the back throw. Yeah, that's going to be huge. Wow, wow, what is this black beat, dude? Freestyling? Great awareness to do the shallow arc. Oh no, the, the 
Clash actually saved her in the Michael Blade just to safely end it. We have gone down to double Luigi, everybody. It is the last round. Needy words? Can we talk about the navigation? Man was playing Frogger on level 100. <laughs> Wait, does Frogger have levels? I guess. Is anybody a Frogger's expert? Did anybody actually get good at Frogger ever? Anyway, sorry, I'm distracted by Froggers. Oh! That 5S could have been disaster. Words are out though, that's huge. Clash of the 6P. What was that float? The words are still there? What? What the fuck was the FRC? <laughs> Bro, the FRC schmix? Scared the shit out of me. Oh, all right. I didn't know. Oh, no, the big JD hits. That's going to be it for Wedge. Wedge the only things I know about Frogger are from that one Seinfeld episode. There's an episode of Seinfeld about Frogger? Uh, the George is really good at Frogger and wants to preserve his highest score, so he he has to take the arcade machine from the pizza joint because they're selling it, and it gets run into in the middle of the street. You could be making this up. Like, <laughs> I don't know. That's an actual episode. Chat, back me up on this. Are there any... <laughs> Please tell me your Seinfeld stance. Please. Yo, any Eileen fans in the chat? Hey, what's good, Wolf on Bath Salt? Hope you're chilling. Yeah, the only Frogger game I played as a kid was, I guess it was the PS1 one, but I think I had it on the PC. It was the really weird one that was, like, grid-based, but 3D. Does that ring any bells? Does this Frogger game do, is this unlocking a childhood memory in any of you? I also remember it was really fucking hard. Well, that's quick. Were there bees? I don't know. I remember, like, the first level, I think, was the car one. I think it was on everything, but it was 3D. It was like 3D models. It wasn't like sprites or anything like that. I could probably find it. Hold on, Frogger, PC. Yeah, it was this one. Oh, let me see this. It was, it was Frogger, he's back. I don't know why, I have an eBay link. You can get this game for nine bucks, everybody. Oh shit. I mean, bargain of a fucking lifetime, you know what I'm saying? This Frogger. This is this is the Frogger I had as a wee lad. And I remember this game kicking my absolute ass. Anyway, Barbar -bar versus Hitagi. Oh shit, Rob. Oh my god, and they're in hell. They're in the hell classic. Hell, but the one that does not up the saturation of your display. That's horrible! Oh, he could have actually died. Counter hit 6P like that is one of the worst things that could happen. So, funny thing about the Slayer um, Soul matchup. A lot of Slayer's routes actually just don't work on Soul. Straight up. But you know what does? Our very consistent setups into two-hit air super. Which, if you don't know what it feels like to fucking chew shrive, uh, chew shrive gum, it's getting hit by fucking two-hit air, Slayer air super. That shit will actually kill you instantly. Thank you very much there for the big follow fluff. I appreciate it. Wow, good completion. But yeah, a lot of Slayer's air routes just do not work on uh, Soul. Try to start slash backing. Use the jump 2K to back. Oh no! Good FG on the way down. Didn't block the cross up though. Yeah, huge. Hitagi, guess for game situation, but obviously you can never really count Slayer out. That was so smart. Because backdash jump is one of the easiest and most consistent safe wake-ups for Slayer, and that was like a specific call-out to it. 100%. There's the wild throw. Oh, no! Bad news bears, Rob! All of this off of a delay air tech throw. This has to hurt if you're barred. Yeah, 50%. Clean. 2D, good answer to the Riot. Uh, not Riot. Uh, 2D, Dandy Step. You know, Slayer with his Sidewinder loops. Oh no! Speaking of Sidewinder loops, we're in it. 
Flan, I just realized, unlocked an Eldritch memory in me. Every time I think of Sidewinder, what I'm actually thinking of is there's a game at Chuck E. Cheese that there was, was there when I was a kid. He's dead! No, wait. He's not. He's a living Rob. I think Kentucky's dead, actually. Damn. Intentionally commentating... Commentate... Yeah. How? Intentionally commentators cursing him for your own man. Can you believe that? Like I said, Dimax, uh, unfortunately, the consistent uh, Big Bang upper follow-ups do not work against Soul. You kind of have to, like, freestyle it, which is not wonderful. So he's kind of just going for the more consistent stuff. Well, I mean, freestyling it in the bad way, which is you get, like, JKJD and you go home. That was a great 2D there, twerking underneath the wake up FB dandy. Oh no! Was he trying to bait? I think he's trying to bait. He was baiting the burst. He was baiting the burst. Sorry, my brain had to catch up, Rob. I forgot how hard Bar Bar wants bursts. I've said it before, I'll say it again. He plays like a man who from New Jersey. He does indeed. He's New Jersey in spirit and New Jersey in build. This guy directed clerks. This guy right here, Bar Bar, made clerks. Can you believe that, chat? His blood is made of pork roll. He's that New Jersey. There are two major exports as a state, clerks and pork rolls. You're not wrong. Wow! The quadruple? Oh no, didn't actually get the hard knockdown out of a bandit whiff. I, I think the hit stun decay was a little bit too much going for four clean hits. What an air throw! That's the air throw, the FB dandy, nobody home. Ooh, he tried to do the funny stuff. You can see the, the neutral RPS is fast, but you can... Oh my god, did he try to bandit revolver FRC to keep up with him and keep the combo going? I think so. What a that gamer. Been the funniest fucking thing. Ow. Yeah, just goes into 2D there. Keeps the 50 meter. Hitagi, now fully loaded. Oh no. Damn. I think he tried to 5P. I think that's the startup what I saw, and it just lost cold. Ooh. Unfortunate. Itagi's gonna go out at this. Hey, Frogger for the PC is over on my other monitor. Um, Itagi's gonna go out at this point in the bracket, which means that Dimax has to fight Wedge to find out who's in the loser semis. Whoa. GG's. Itagi is a new gamer here. Thank you very much for entering. I hope you had fun. Yeah, that was some good shit. That was some good ass Slayer. That was some, that was some fine Slayer. If I say so myself. You missed the entire match. People got punched a lot. Not a lot of blocking in the Slayer Soul matchup. I don't know if you know that. <clears throat> this is your reminder at 8:50 EST to stay hydrated, chat room. I'm doing the exact opposite. I'm eating more salty chicken. <laughs> this is your <laughs> reminder to either hydrate or dehydrate. Just pick one and commit and don't be a bitch. You know, some of these people, they flip-flop. They don't know which one they're going to do. But we are going to have Dimax Slayer going up against Wedge Justice, which, as I talked about before, is a pretty bad matchup for Slayer. I think a lot of people will agree. Slayer typically struggles against zoning. He doesn't have any obvious tools to beat it. Outside of risky shit like that, you know, doing, uh, K... Oh no, the Big Bang Upper OTG! That's about... That's like the one of the worst things that could have happened there. Swap Dimax into the corner. Slayer does not have a lot of good options to escape this. Okay! That's one of the only That's ones, though. Option. It is. Oh no! You try to keep the funny loop going, but not enough. Wow! That hit on the other side? Why did it hit on the other side? Why did that hit on the other side? <laughs> Use the safe bunker. Rare footage of Dimax doing something that's safe. Catch his toes. The minus on hit. <gasps> no, that doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah, unfortunate. When Justice is in the corner like that, it's actually harder for Slayer to deal with the zoning because H Dandy won't cross up anymore. 
Good dash back dash from the grab. Nice, yeah. Because you can do that. Clockwise does hit behind the back. That is intentional. Oh! He could have 6H. Alright, Wedge has corner. Dimax in a bad spot. Again, the backwards clockwise works. Can we call that the counterclockwise, Rob? I think so. Even though the move is called crosswise. <gasps> oh! Counter crosswise. What? Bro, what? What? That was nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and wow, Dimax got the two frame link. Look at him go. Dimax has ascended. You've gone from clown high school to clown college. Damn. Straight up Bozo University. Oh no. And unfortunately, again, you're seeing here, once this is set up, Dimax, he's rolling the dice. He's, he's rolling the dice. <laughs> Okay, uh, okay. Maybe you rolled too much. <laughs> anyone feel- anyone like coming to clown graduate school? You're teaching lessons on frame two counters. <laughs> uh, just PhD in clownitude. Yeah, I'm getting my masters in, uh... Mashing Justice's fake DP. You see, I'm going for a niche subject. It's called uh, Abare Venom 2S. Why was he charging into the nukes? So, H Dandy has weird invul right about there, where he can go through and then hit her counter hit with a back hit of uh, crosswise, which is what he's fishing for. It's a good idea, and I'll be honest with you, this matchup is kind of rough because Slayer doesn't really have too many other options other than he can do that. He can just stick Mappas into the nukes to detonate them, but he really doesn't have a lot of great ways to get in. I do think that Dynamax maybe should be mixing in Super Jump more. Oh! The mid screen Big Bang works, but unfortunately he did not get the pickup. Oh God. That counter hit jump age was so scary. Yeah, you're seeing, that's what it looks like when it works. Try to get the gold burst, but nothing immediate! File bunker. Wow! You saw there, though, the adjustment that Wedge tried to make. He QH. He died! Oh. The fuck? What? No, I'm just saying, what the fuck, he died. Yeah, I can't believe he fucking died. That was crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's bad, Naj. I'm saying Slayer doesn't have a whole lot. <laughs> I'm thinking, like, what you should do, I think, is Slayer in that matchup. My understanding of it, and if you know Slayer better than I do, this is just my stupid-ass understanding, is that you just try to mix up your approach in ways that make the Justice player maybe try to mix up their offense, because there's not too many reasons to not just do up-nuke, forward-nuke formation. Um, I do think, though, that Dimax maybe could have stuck out 5k a lot more to try to early detonate the nukes. Usually, it's pretty safe. Um, and it does give you some ground, but, like, Slayer's got a lot of problems with that matchup. Not good. Slayer just struggles against jo zoners in general. Remember, those of you who don't know, back in Accident Core, the top four, it was, like, some sort of weird fucked up triangle. It was like a tetrahedron or something. Where it was, like, Testament and Eddie and Slayer and Pot were the best characters in the game. But Pot beat the absolute shit out of Slayer who also kind of got his shit salad tossed by Testament. Um, and then Potemkin got zoned out by the two of them, but, like, Slayer was still kind of weak to zoning then. Yeah, 5k is an incredible poke. To be fair, in Accent Core, Slayer also did have his Accent Core counter hit jump H roots. He did. Don't get me wrong, Slayer was fucked up. If he hit you, you exploded, but... Yeah, it's 5k is a god button. And also, because it's also threatening, right? Because you can buffer 5k into it. You can link off of it into uh, a bunch of shit. You can also just do like 5k into FB Dandy Bunker. Or like a quick yeet him into the corner billion damage thing. Very good button. And plus. Alright, everybody. I'm gonna have to ask you for a favor in just a second. It's been longer than a second. 
Wait, I'm confused. I, I got my brain broken, because the matches that we're waiting on are... The people still in the bracket, right, are Naj, Jason Riot, Wedge, and Barbar. -Bar. Wedge and Barbar -Bar have to fight down in losers, and Naj and Jason Riot have to fight up in winners. I saw this, and I was just like, wait, who's fighting who? <laughs> I think you're getting winners finals. I think. Thank you very much there, T.E. Webster. Big follow, I appreciate it. And it is indeed going to be Naj and Jason Riot, everybody. Make some noise. This is going to be your winners finals for the night. Holy shit. Oh no! Burst him into it. Oh god, this game. Look at the damage scaling. That did nothing. It literally did like no damage. Yeah, that is. Luckily, the game thought about that. The double piece big cross up. One hit Badlands gets the corner. Great block on the 6P, jumping his way out, weaseling through the test wow. offense. Wow, dude, he tried to defensively throw, and he fucking died for it. Jesus, he's dead. <laughs> Did you see how hard he baited that? Just Street Fighter neutral jumped on his dumb ass. Oh no, a little bit of a drop. They're on the warrant. Hello? Wow, raw Badlands, huh? I've noticed that Naj has gone for that quite a bit. It's a one hit. Yeah, I guess all three puppets setting up the tree. And I might actually be dead here for Jason Riot, right? I think he tried to throw it. Got neutral jump instead of forward jump. So got tagged. That's going to be another big tree, probably. FRC blocking it out. Nice, Jason playing so patient. Just throwing him to get the Oki. Wait, what? <laughs> the Voracious. No, he, he, he back threw him because he wants to avoid the, the big trees he's already set down on that side of the screen. Rob, you're a genius. Unfortunately, he did not. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, had to spend hey, the FB there. For Jason, knowing that he wouldn't have time to punish the Badlands, just continuing running, knowing, knowing that uh, Naj was going to try and weasel his way out. Yeah, super smart. And spending the FB uh, sidewinder there. Oh no, gets air thrown for his troubles. One of the worst things that can happen to you in the Testament matchup. Thrown into the tree. Dash up, cross up. Wow, JP Abare. Oh my god, is he dead? Oh my god, is he. Oh! <gasps> Wait! Just blocked it. Dead. Jason. Damn. Jason takes the first one here. This is going to be first to three for winner's finals. Let the intros rock. Stop it on through. Jason is going ham. Backdash, fully punish. Yeah, I guess the air tech out of that. You know, I learned that today, Rob. I kind of thought that it's hard knockdown. I mean, hard, hard knockdown is like in every other game. Ooh, a gigantic damage route. Oh no, is that he's not just dead. He is. Jesus. Jason looking like a man possessed. Double 5k anti-air. Dude, did you see Jason literally just Yomi countering from full screen? What a 5k! I've never seen a man just more 5k in my life. That wasn't 5k into a route. He just said, stop it. <laughs> Get some help. Lock the gold versus 2D, beats the Barney cold. Wow, was that a punish on Gravedigger? I think it was. Wait, no, 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 no. Gravedigger's like, what, minus two? Barbara says yes. I think he might have blocked it weird. Let me see this.
No, it's minus? Okay, yeah, I thought it was minus, yeah. Okay, minus eight or uh minus eight on ground and minus nine on air, Grave Digger. Okay. Um, excuse me, Say Jam. Grave Digger is the name of the FB version. The other version is called Badlands. Uh <laughs> may want to get your facts straight there, buddy, before you try to uh <laughs> correct the streamer. <laughs> Oh, it didn't get the queen hit. <laughs> the move is called Spitty. I agree. Oh my god, the Grand Vipers be coming out now. That's a lot of damage, Rob. <laughs> oh my god. Where's the life? Also, sorry, names are switched. Oh! <laughs> what the hell is... Dude, what is that combo, bro? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Holy shit! Wow! What a punish. Now Nod's gonna have the big tree down. Unfo yeah, had to burst. That was gonna be death. No! That's the worst thing that could've happened! <laughs> He's <t> <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that man got straight up Pokemon Red and Blue toxic. He was poisoned twice over. He got in the fucking blind spot of 6 H. Die. He got toxic and wrapped. He did. He was dead. Yeah, I don't even know if Testament players really usually want Testament back. I mean, like, look, if I want to play the Testament game, I will. <laughs> Throwing out the key. Two dolls. Oh no, only got one puppet because only one hit the super worked. Oh no, the so for those of you who don't know how that works, usually when you get off the ground in Guilty Gear Plus R, you're put in like an OTG state, right? Where you don't get, uh, your combo usually doesn't do that much damage. The trees, the big trees, take you out of that OTG state. It pops you out of it, so now you get full combo. It does a trillion damage, actually. Poisons you? Hard to bait. Wow, the FRC there putting out the double Barneys! Oh, that was an unfortunate attack! The DPRC! Oh, no! The one was still there? My man went up for the spike, but jumped straight into the volleyball net. <gasps> oh, no. The net's up. out. Jason does not have a lot of life to waste here at any point. Yeah, you can see the FD coming out. Gold burst! That's so bad! That's so bad! Oh, he told oh, my god! That's worse! Oh, no! Not quite dead. Nod's a little bit of life left in the tank. Gunflame FRC trying to keep it tight. That beat Gravedigger? What? What? I'm, I'm looking at this. What is... Oh, no. Oh, air has less invul. <laughs> it only has nine frames of invul. Oh. Hey, keep it down there, stream monster. Oh! Been a bringer. Wait! Dude, that's a lot of damage. Naj, this is not looking like a good testament round. Just, what do you mean you just 2 would him? Why'd you do that? I mean, if it's needy, it, it beats uh, Warren. Gets a big two dolls. Hasn't spent any of them yet. There's this. There's a big tree. Right back where testament is. Good escape from Jason Riot. Has to RC that. What a pickup! The other she was still there. It was the Great Digger actually blew him past, and I think he hit it like the same frame that he got caught in the net. I think he thought he was gonna bonk him into it. Yeah, had to burst that. No punish though. A lot of times, if you burst that, you can get a punish. Yo, no, the JP didn't have enough hits on Jason Riot gets Guilty Gear Abare thrown into Grave Digger. Naj is alive. One on the board. I was gonna say signs of life, but he was on the gurney and he just kicked the doctor's teeth in. <gasps> My boy swanging from the gurney. What game is this? It looks sick. This is Guilty Gear, Accent Core, plus R. I think there's other words in this title, but I won't say them. Wow. That's a lot of damage. That was that was not a black beat. That was a four clean hit combo. That was. You know there was a couple nets on screen. <laughs> wow, just get hit by the Barney on wake up? I wonder what he tried. He tried to wake up 5k. I wonder what he was going for. Was he trying to check, like, teleport? 
No, no, immediate IAD in, trying to keep the pressure on Jason. But Jason has been doing such an excellent job of just jumping out of stuff, right? Like, he just knows when to take to the air, and has such excellent air, abare, and defense awareness that it's really been working. Riot Stomp. Riot Stomp is so good in this matchup because it blows through nets. It'll just delete all of them, like, as he's going through, so it can get soul out of situations that other characters can struggle with. Here we go. Naj Rob is fighting back. Damn, broken out of the hospital. Game is taking a little bit to process this. Uh, let's analyze what's on the screen. We got some dust. We got soul. We got a Barney. Can we even call it Barney in this color? I don't have any other funny red dragons. It's a that's not funny. The funniest red dragon. Hungry, Everybody wants it. Hungry Hippo is allowed. That is what uh, me and my friends called it in college. Gets the pickup after throw. To age into web. He's waiting for the burst. He was. He wasn't even committing. Bandit Bringer! Wow! I can't believe he was able to keep that going for as long as he did. Why did the Grand Viper work? RC? <laughs> Jump straight into the net. Jason is one <laughs> round away from taking this over Naj. Oh, he did miss a clean hit? I wasn't sure. Barbar, -bar, I'm glad you're in the chat for the expert soul analysis. Try to slash back to 5k. Locking him up. He's gonna get three big dolls. One tree be down. Has to be careful of the tree. Where is it? Bro! <laughs> Dude, he gets the- He off the entire time. He got a pick up oh off of God. it. Oh my, my God. Oh my God, he's got the whole platoon. Dude, he's got the whole army set up. This is looking like Persona 4 Arena. Okay, luckily he managed to dodge all those trees! George in the jungle! That's trade with Bringer! <gasps> he burst! Okay, Jason died. I I was Whoa. like, what the hell just happened? I, mean, I had no fucking clue. <laughs> Naj is gonna tie it up 2-2. You're watching a robbery in 4K, bruh. Can you call this a robbery? I mean, I guess so. I, I, this is two, like, professional criminals going at it. This is organized crime, okay? This is indeed the double purple. Can you say this game is 4K? That's the real question. Sorry. Naj is over here like, this is my part of Chicago. I ain't run the bootlegging around here. All right, gonna get the throw there, gets the pickup. Gonna push Jason into the corner, and as long as he gets the one hit of Badlands here, can convert it into the hardest of knockdowns. Wait, well, I guess not. Rare footage is someone teching out of Badlands. It depends on the height and proration. Uh, at that, in that situation, uh, Naj would have had to go for like some cute web stuff into, uh, into a different knockdown. That was a good little defensive decision there from Jason. He backed up and then low blocked. His testament can't easily combo off of 6P from that range. So you saw there it actually dropped and Naj died. Jason, one round up, could potentially end this right now. The dust made the revolver with? Oh my <gasps> back air throw? The you slash. wanna talk about anti bandit bringer options with testament motherfuckers? <laughs> throw that whole sage and tutorial in the garbage. That's the answer. <gasps> Oh no, he's swinging. Oh my god, will that slashback even matter? Naj is just getting punched to death, Rob. Oh no, that was a tree! Oh, Captain Planet is on his side, but it wasn't enough. It was not enough. Cat, unfortunately, loot and plunder are gonna win the day there. GG's. Holy shit. <laughs> Jason Rye is going to take it 3-2. to two. Naj is going to drop down a loser's finals.
to fight the winner of Wedge and Barbar. -Bar. Oh boy. That was a match and a half. Dude, you know what was so funny? Ma said earlier this game is GTA, which first of all, hey. Second of all, I was wa I've like barely, I've never played a GTA game actually in my life. I was gonna say barely, I never have. Um, and I was watching somebody play through the Definitive Edition because that thing sucks, but it was like, uh, still like kind of the first time I've ever really seen those games. And he was playing um, San Andreas, right? That's the third one, right? That's the one people like, I think. The, the third one in the GTA 3 trilogy. There's GTA know. 3, there's San Andreas, and there's, or no, GTA 3, Vice City, then San Andreas. He was playing that, and he got, like, a mission, which was like, hey, steal a car. And I was like, I get it! <laughs> it's Grand Theft Auto. I'm with it. Like, there's a whole subsection of missions. Anyway, Jason Riot, thank you very much for the big follow. Good performance there. We are going to be getting into this loser semis match. This is going to be first to two. It's going to be Wedge and Barbar. -Bar. And the soul menace continues. Now, I have to imagine Barbar -Bar hates this matchup because Barbar -Bar hates everything. But... Um, I think that Soul does have a lot of tools to sw uh, slug out against Justice, right? Because Barbar -Bar can, uh, he can choose the Grand Viper to get under nukes. Um, he can just easily swing into them. And once he gets in, he can make Justice hurt so bad. 100%. Bar slash such a good preemptive nuke detonator. Ooh! Also, we have situations like that. Usually, uh, Justice Backdash is really tough to deal with. Like, 5k is just a good option in that situation. Not a lot of characters have something that kind of active. For sure. And Chad, if you can believe it, we are three followers away from hitting the big 2,000 followers, and I don't know what to do with that information. I'm scared. Uh, it means you have to become a professional Fortnite streamer. I'm sorry, those are the Twitch rules. Uh, Dormera8 and El Plaza, thank you for the big follows. And Colgate Crescendo is going to be it, is going to be the big 2,000 follower on twitch.tv slash solid bones. I'm sorry, mindless. You're the 2,000 and first, but I do appreciate you regardless. Thank you very much, everybody. It means a lot for me. We've been doing these tournaments now for, what, just over a year? And it has been a ton of fun. I'm having a lot of fun here. I hope you've all been having a good time. Pokemon couldn't be the T-1000th, I know, unfortunate. But Barbar, -Bar, down a lot of life at this point, Rob. This, this is looking like a... That was... Yeah. That was brutal. That that was going to be an uphill battle no matter what. With that, with that little meter against Justice Chip. I'm surprised Barbar -Bar did not wait for that, to be honest with you. <laughs> Great weaseling around the up new. Oh, the double it's jump to bait the throw? throw. The Banderbringer FRC, just to keep the combo going a little bit more. Adding a little bit more flavor to that spice. Putting some pomegranate on that pizza. I'm sorry, what? You heard me. Getting the FB uh, Sidewinders in there. Not going to kill. But it's close. What? Good air throw there from Wedge, but Wedge is down so much life. That was just going to be chipped no matter what. Yeah. And Barbar. Had to FD. Barbar's going to go still would have been a guess on the way down. Which characters do me and Rob play? In this game, I play Slayer, Rob plays Venom, so I fucking hate him. <laughs> Don't ever laugh like that again, you dirty Venom player. <laughs> Plus it's Carcass go burr. Dude, the idea of cosplaying Street Fighter V Seth makes my skin hurt. Like, do you all feel that? Have any of you ever worn body paint? It fucking sucks. <laughs> like, Jesus. Michael Sword here. Oh my god, putting Barbar -Bar in the Double clinic. Loop. Okay, but Barbar -Bar is swinging from the gurney, Rob, to steal your own catchphrase. Plus it's my ranks. catchphrase now? It is. You know, you're famous for it. I've already put it on Twitter. It's got 4 billion retweets. Damn, even more than the Pokemon Rob Mac tweet? <laughs> Burst is such a good thing for a character that has zoning tools. Yeah, I feel like bursts on zoners, anytime you get hit by one when you finally get in, you're like, absolutely fuck this. <laughs> you have to process a little bit. That was a big counter hit. Venom deserves three bursts. Wow, what an air throw. I feel like Wedge's air throw game as Justice is very good. 
Because Justice is not a fast enough character to easily, like, get in positions to air throw you. It has to be a very defensive decision. Up back. Whoa. Wow, the early detonation there stuffed the Grand Viper. Really good for Wedge to show that option. And Barbar is now getting zoned. Banderbringer FRC just to try to get in a different angle with Michael Sword trades. It's going to be Double one. Double Sword, too. It's going to be 1-1. One, one. Two blades, one in each hand. They're just spinning. Barbar says, how did that trade, bruh? I don't know. Beerst with excellent drive always feels nice. I agree there, man. Yeah, <laughs> Beerst. Cross up JH. Wow, what a delay for that wild throw. Doesn't FDing remove your th throw protection? I wonder if that's actually what happened. Uh, I, I don't know. Am I high as a kite? Does that happen? Somebody who's good at this video game, please tell me. Ow, ow. It does not. Okay. I thought it did. I might be thinking of something else. It removes cross-up protection. <gasps> Grand Viper works! It's under the Michael Sword! Is that going to be enough juice in the tank? Uh oh It was a clean hit, but Justice's wonky weight class and hurt box... Avoided the clean hit follow up. Wait, where? where, 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 where? The other side? Oh, he's trying to band it around. Good intercept in the air. The sky's protected. Wedge is now actually one round away from taking this over Barbar. -bar. This would be a huge oh. W for Wedge. Oh, no. Counter gets hard baited. Doing versus Q's Super is Mr. Anvil. Ah, I think that's what I might be confusing the with. Thank you, Kiseki no Hoshi. Oh no! Bar -bar. And we're seeing it go wide whenever Wedge takes to the air. Oh, bah -bah. Hey. Did he do that backwards? Top quality commentary, folks. Just what? Hey, hey, bah -bah. What the hell happened? Is it enough? I don't think it is. Wait, wait, me with the JPs? Oh. Yeah, it was a black beat, though. Yeah. I think that was important. Barbar -bar is now on last game. Double Luigi between these two and loser semis. Barbar -bar and Wedge. Double pasta. Round start wild throw. The block on the DP, but nothing. Dude, just hitting 2H for big life. Sending it? Oh no, Wedge may actually die for that. You can see there, Barbar's positioning at full screen is important, right? He's standing far enough away that Michael Sword actually can't hit him, or he's like getting in, right? Those are the spaces. Yeah. Wow! Yes. Immediate throw after the air block. Had to burst. This is their last chance. Yeah, this is going to be a rough comeback for Wedge, but can definitely happen. Justice does do enough damage to make it. The Grand Viper at the sudden random time is going to take it. Barbar -Bar is going to move on here to fight Naj in Loser's Finals, and our top three has been decided for the night. Damn. All right, one second. I need to grab me a cough drop. I'm, I'm hooting and hollering too much. Give me one sec. I'll hold it down while you grab a cough drop. All right, all right. What, what can I preoccupy you kids with? Um... I didn't bring my Game Boy, so uh, uh, you're, you're, you kids are just gonna have to read this 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 here uh, National Geographic magazine. It's got a story about monkeys. Um, they eat bananas sometimes. Did you know that? I am back. I've got me a big old cough drop. I, Hell yeah! This is the kind of commentary night where I know tomorrow I'm gonna talk and be like, "Hello." What brand? I'm a Halls gamer, personally. I get the Hall's cherries. No, no, no. Wolf of Bath Salt. Uh, uh, monkey, what monkeys really like to do is they like to do Leo 236H. That's their favorite. Uh, by the way, Seamal, thank you very much. The big 13 months. They say all souls are created equal, but then you look at Say Jam, you look at Barbar, -Bar, and you can see that's not true. Don't say that. Say Jam's right here. 
Don't be mean to Sage Jam. Sage Jam versus Barbar, Bar, first to 100 for 20 bucks. I think, Let's unfortunately, go. they're like they've never had a good stable connection ever. Like, they're just both cursed, if I remember correctly. Oh no! Oh, that's it. First to 200, then. Jason Riot giving Barbar Bar the homie buff. Oh no, everybody. We do have the surprise pick. Naj plays two characters. They don't only play one, and they're going Bridget. This is not oh a good God. thing. Heaven or hell. Do a run. Let's rock. Good bait on the starship. And the backdash there, Naj, representing the cycling defensive options. Dude, I just realized Naj plays two characters who have like 400 wake-up options. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, in a game as oppressive as, as plus R, like, I think wake up options is pretty fucking nice. Pretty good. For, for the record, everybody, this since this is Loser's Finals, this is gonna be first to three. Wow, that starship tacked on so much damage. Oh no, the cross up! <gasps> Flash cancel into the sweep! What a clash. If you play Testament, we're cool. If you play Testament and Bridget, nah, bro. <laughs> I don't disagree. Also, how's it going, Moss? I hope you're doing good. The Starship FRC into the low saw that Barbar was stand blocking. Wow! Dude, going in again. And again, again, and there's the first. Oh my god. Wow. How many air throws was that? Wow. How many fucking air throws was that? Naj was not having it. Barbar -bar says help. Naj, Naj just rolled up and said, Thou been yoked, stayeth down. Have thine read the scrolls of yoked? You mean scrolls of yore? No! <laughs> there Bro, what? I've actually, what? believe it or not, I've never seen that super. I only knew that, uh, I've only ever seen Killing Machine. <laughs> Doing it again, popping off. I mean, how often do we see Bridget with meter? That's the, meter? the problem is the one Bridget that we've seen consistently in Boomer Cup is Yo-Yo Master, who has only ever gotten negative penalty and not had meter. So, this is pretty different. That's a lot of fucking damage. Bridget do not have the guts to take hits like that. Yeah, Barbar -Bar now kind of taking his Oki from a bit farther away because the Starship FRC has been such a threat. The double starship! Starshipping over and over. Bruh, did you see how Soul just gripped Bridget by the fucking head? <laughs> just crush it like a grapefruit? Jesus. Hey, you crush grapefruits out. like that? That's just terrifying. Wow! There's the run-up DP. Nice. I'm pretty sure uh, Soul could grip a grapefruit and kill it, right? Um, That's a lot of damage! Knowledge does not have burst. Hold on, we have to process a little bit, because this combo is going to do a lot. God. You know, clean 50%. It's alright. Oh no, the jump worked! I wonder if that was a safe jump for Starship. Still alive! You don't want to leave Bridget alive, even by a pixel. <gasps> oh no! Great 6 <laughs> wow! <laughs> From downtown. <laughs> He's on fire! That, that was like a, a, a... That just... You know what that felt like in, in my bones? That felt like either Exard or Reload Soul uh, Grand Viper, where he does the DP afterwards. Okay. It was that. It was that kind of sentence. So Barbar -Bar has pointed out something important. Uh, now Naj has switched to Testament, so this is now legally a first to two. You know, we might as well just reset the score back to 0, -0 and just call it a first to two, because the match has just started. I'm surprised that bad lands whiffed. That was weird. I'm shocked that Jump H killed that web. What the fuck? Yeah, I thought that. he was getting clipped. 
The delayed poison man. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, Lord, he's coming. Too far away, though. Wow, dude, the JP's caught every web. <laughs> Hilarious. Has the doll. Good job from uh, Barbar there. Backdashing into the uh, tree on purpose to block it. Soul Mirror Grand Finals? We can hope, Jason Ryan. Cursed up on a Tuesday. But it's Wednesday. Damn, he didn't check the time. <laughs> yeah, Curse is pretty mean. Wow! Again, not good. Barbar is letting these air throws get to him a little bit too much. You really can't let that happen. Talk about how Barbar actually blocked that cross. Oh, no! Oh, of... no! Oh, never mind. Locking him up. He's got two dolls. Oh my god, didn't get the pickup because he got close slash. That was weird. And he's dead. Poison. Web was there. Naj, up to one. Yeah, poison's pretty mean, Jason. It's a bit mean. <laughs> This entire character. character is built around taking your lunch money and shoving you into a locker. There was a video that Seijan made a while ago that was like, comeback factors uh, can be good and exciting, and then in parentheses, except for X-Factor, right? And I feel like that video that Seijan made of like, why do people hate summon and trap characters? Like, they can be cool. There should be in parentheses, except Testament. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was actually a great burst there. Avoided the tree. Ow! Oh! Yeah, there's the warrant cross-up. Naj is now one round away from taking this over Barbar. -bar, getting the run back in Grand Finals. Also, yeah, Sigwin, that's a, an important distinction. Are we talking Exar Jacko? Because if so, I will ban you. God damn it. <laughs> You can't do that to Rob, he's a Venom player. They don't like Exer Jackos. Wow, Nah, it's just not That's marrying- shit. Gets Guilty Gear thrown into the corner. This, okay, this freeze frame is critical, Rob, because this might be how this whole fucking game ends. Okay, cross up. The Guilty Gear of Bari throw works. The Poison Fella, he's gonna now be full screen, has to block all this shit. The FRC to get the double Barneys. I got one hit again. I've never seen two Barneys just pop up at once. Yeah, that's a weird input, because I think what you have to do, Naj is gonna take it, by the way, over Barbar. -Bar. Gonna move to get the rematch in Grand Finals, which means Barbar -Bar is gonna take third place. Pretty angry hey. job. Also, shout out to Wedge for taking fourth. This is a fucking loaded bracket, Wedge. You you fought your fucking heart out there, kid. I'm all about it. I'm gonna be honest, Jason. You don't type like the kind of soul player you are. <laughs> I, like, I don't know how to explain it. But I feel like you're typing like a... Like, just like, yeah, man, that's awesome. But, like, you know, this is something you should keep in mind, man. And then, you know, the second you sit down... You know, controller of choice in your lap and or hands. You, you you just button up that suit. You iron out that collar. Safety's off. They're done. <laughs> They're done, though. And we are going to be getting into the last match of the night, everybody. It's going to be Jason Riot going up against Naj. Coming up to the loser side of the bracket. Place your bets, and do me a favor, everybody. Make some fucking noise for me in the chat. Y'all have been real quiet. Can one of the mods do the chant thing? Does anybody know how? The silence know. is deafening. Wow! Great start for Jason! Sorry, the names are switch. Oh my god! There we go, we got the noise going. And while and you're all doing- Did <laughs> Jason just end the match with jump back MP Sidewinder? <laughs> yeah. What a gamer.
Brave blocks on the 60. He's swinging. It's Black beating for his troubles. Beast, beast, beast. Yeah, the cross up beast. One hit. More corner carry. Corner to corner, going all the way across the court. Oh my god. He tried to throw the, he burst. the burst. He did, he did. Jason got a 2D though. That's all he really needs. Jason just needs a 2D, a 40, and a dream. You know what I mean? Grave digger. Damn. Try to slash back it. Nothing. But that's a safe place to slash back, right? You saw Jason was just going to end that in Gunflame anyway to keep it safe. So trying to go for the slash back made a lot of sense. Riot Stamp removing the webs, but he gets clipped. Jason's getting hit by a lot of Black Beats. Locking him up. Only got two dolls, but we take that. Wow, the Warren connected immediate burst. Trying to keep the corner. The gold burst! Gold burst! I got one of those too. Oh my <laughs> god. The double. How many fucking trees did he plant? Is he dead? Is he actually gonna fucking die? No, but it's damn close. Caught in the toesies. Okay, Naj takes the first one. Holy shit. Try to actually whiff punt at that 6H by doing run up 5k. Jason. Playing his patented, very patient soul style. 2H connects, but nothing behind it. Wow, what a good riot stamp. Once you see the Barney coming out, Testament's a little committed. So doing it there is a really safe idea because you'll generally go over trees and you'll blow through all the webs. Staying in the air with JPs to ignore the Barney. Smart play from Jason, but... Okay, Jason's got him in the corner. The bandit revolver beating the Gravedigger cold. Oh, wow. he's got these completions. Oh, he's got those completions. A spare backdash into Gravedigger. Gets you every time. Chat, smile if you got hit by backdash into Gravedigger. Gets a clean hit. There's going to be a lot of damage. Freeze the meter for stability. Wow, dude, Jason is just slugging this match. Bandit Bringer on the way in. FRC, that was a fantastic gold burst. Now he's got him in the corner. He's got a billion million meter, and that's a punish. Way too close. Round start, Grand Viper? You know, sometimes you gotta send it. Dude, that JD tacked on so much damage because he snuck it in there early. <laughs> Before the paration got bad. Oh no, gets the combo off the trade, but the Grave Digger drops. Oh, <gasps> what's still there? Bro, did you see? He was stuck in the web. My man. My man. Hold on real quick. He was stuck in the web, and Testament was right in front of him and just went, what's good? <laughs> and then he split that. <laughs> Dumb shit. Nodge is up 2-0. Well. Media round star 2-H into Beast. A classic option, Rob. One as old as time, really. I mean, they have cave paintings of that shit, you know? Yeah. Cave paintings of 2-H, and then, like, cave graffiti pointing at it and saying bullshit. Double lock up. Now gonna have the big tree. This is how this can all go bad for Jason Rye. This is close to unrecoverable at this point, right? Like, so much damage gonna be tagged onto this, and if he's not dead, it's gonna be damn close. Looping him back into it, and because it's the big web, he can throw him back into another tree! Oh my god. How many fucking voodoo dolls did he have that run? That was genuinely like eight voodoo dolls. Yeah, cheating ass character. Ooh! Slash backed it! 
Weird gold burst. I wonder what he was waiting for. Hey, how's it going, Atro? Thanks for the big follow. I appreciate it. Hope you're having fun watching this man get fucking volleyballed against the wall over and over. Me. Chasing him down. Spending the meter for stability. That is the mark of a fucking good soul player is when they spend the meter on Forest Break Sidewinder because they know the shit's gonna drop otherwise. Yeah, for sure. Big Poison Man comes out. The tree still connects. Jason is now poisoned. The Abare 5k works. Okay, Jason has a round on the board, but if he loses this one, it's still gonna just bracket reset right in his face. Now, have a confession. Every time a commentary I say volleyball, I consider saying volleyball because I like volleyball more. But I feel like so many people in chat are gonna be like, "Look at this streamer fucking accidentally calling volleyball volleyball," and I'm gonna have to ban people. And it's a whole thing. You know what I mean, Rob? What the fuck is volleyball? Yeah, shut the fuck up, okay? Wow, the 5K anti-air. I think he tried to jump up and throw that burst. Dude, setting out. Okay, but <laughs> did the slow one and the fast one. The slow one's still coming. There it is. Oh no, he countered. They got okay. him that momentum. Immediately IADing after the burst, trying to stay in. The 5k connects, but he wasn't ready for it. The JH has no recovery frames. Jason Ryan gets one on the board. But Jason's going to have to do a whole reverse. He's going to have to get up out of this gurney and just kill the whole West Wing of the hospital. Chat, if you think Jason Riot, if you're a sub, if you've got access to the emotes or enough channel points to use them, if you think you can do the reverse, hit me with a solid B5 reverse. Can he play the Uno card? Can it happen? We got some believers. There are some believers in the chat. Well, you out. see, the cursed thing is from a distance, if you squint really hard, the reverse looks like a web, so this might be actually bad luck for him. You know what? True. Immediate air throw puts down the big tree. It's behind him. At this point, if Jason gets hit because he's on the correct position on screen, he will get OTG'd into the big tree. And you can see Naj trying to hold down that location. Now the tree is a far away memory. He does not have to worry about it as long as Jason can end it as they get close to this wall. Where is this offensive momentum coming from Jason? Suddenly, he's just killing him, Rob. That came from a lot of clean FRCs. <laughs> Damn. He's good. Wow, what do you mean run up slash back jump? <laughs> uh, sometimes you gotta send it? I don't know what you're sending. Sir, uh, you've given me a trout and a postage stamp. I, I don't know quite what I'm doing here. Dude, the bandit FRC to keep himself safe from the tree? Smart. Is he gonna run past this dust? Is he gonna? Game's uh, deciding. Or is he jumping? What's he doing? He did indeed jump over it. Whoa. But getting black beaded by that is probably the worst possible black beat ever in the game. Because it doesn't matter what the scaling's at beforehand, that poison is gonna add on, add on so much damage. Gets the ground and throw. Wow, the JPs. Okay. Oh, the 2H whiffs, but it does not actually have that much recovery. Probably should have more, to be honest with you. The 2H does not connect. The Gravedigger misses. What is happening? He goes straight oh God, through the Barty. And Jason Ryan is going to tie it up 2-2. Holy shit. Is it happening? Are we getting the reverse 3-0? Or will Naj be able to reset this bracket? Not just believing in the testament this way through. They're not, they're not switching to Bridget last minute. <laughs> that slashback actually made it so he couldn't block. Wow, why did the gold burst set him forward and hit him in the back? <laughs> There's some goofy shit that happens with, like, cross-up bursts. Yeah, and their warrant was supposed to cross him up because Jason was in the corner. He stayed in the front, and he got to RC it into th all that damage, and he's got the three puppets. This round... This round is suddenly uh, Megalovania starts, right? This is not what you want to happen. Jason bursting? He believes he's the hero like that, huh? 
Did he just respect a wake up? I think he did. <laughs> Why did he do that? Gunflame! He tried to slash back and he got hit by it. Can Jason make this happen? This would be a huge comeback. He got hit by the tree. The tree was there! What? Dude, he waited! He burned his bed! Blah, 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 blah. He baited the warrant what like the that? What the fuck was the entire situation? What's happening? What's happening? Gets a clean hit! What do you mean, Web? What do you mean, Web, Rob? After all of that? <laughs> After all that? Fucking Web? Wow, cross up, uh, Badlands. Too far away for the Barney. Gonna be able to get the pick up here. I think Soul is actually one of the characters that this is like most consistent on. Uh, reasonably lightweight. Yeah, that's 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 a uh, not a difficult pickup. Dude, did you see it? He warranted it, but Jason knew that there was a tree. That was like a level five bait. You telling me the dust caught the DP recovery and tossed him into a web and he got the pickup? What the? The gamer. What wow. The you can see Jason's adaptation here as he's doing different timing Gunflame FRCs in order to catch Naj trying to slash back. He just took 80% for trying to slash back. Managed to get the back dash though into the Guilty Gear throw. This is going to be a loop. I don't think there's any big trees down or anything, so I don't think Jason's going to die. The 5k is enough. He is. The FP side one is going to stabilize. We're going down to That's double what Luigi. You get for trying to throw the burst. That's That's going... what you get for getting greedy. We're going down to double Luigi. This is going to decide whether the bracket gets reset or if Jason moves on. This is great for Jason. Great punch on the warrant. Jason, Jason is not somebody who gets warranted, dude. I cannot believe that 5k didn't punish. The slash bag gets punished by this uh by the gun flame. Oh my god. Now it's Naj in the gurney. Can he pull this out? Doing the half court shot. He just full gripped the basketball one hand and threw it directly at the basket hoop. Worked. Ooh, gonna get big poisoned here. Yeah, this is bad. A lot of damage getting tagged on here for Jason, but Naj does not have burst, which is an important consideration. If Jason can just find the hit, he can turn this around. <laughs> Brandon for your efforts, he's straight in the skull. Block the skull. <laughs> Six H connects, that's bad. <laughs> Good blocks on the toes, the double Barney, dead angle. The first one we've seen all set. This is it. This could be huge. <laughs> Had to burst. Had. Chip, now a huge concern. Has to be worried about the web. Did the move with the no air recovery ride saw blocked? <gasps> he ran up through the slash back. Is he gonna complete? Is he gonna complete it, Jason Ryan? He's is, gonna clean it up. He's always finished his food. He's gotta see the funny monkey zoo pal plate. Jason Riot is gonna take it over Naj before the bracket resets. Let's fucking go. That was sick. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> My voice hurts. How are you, Rob? <laughs> I got a cough drop on my on my desk too already ready. Damn. Damn. Well that was hey, I keep those halls on me. <laughs> I, I stay strapped, you know what I'm saying? Well, that was a fucking Ooh. load of fun. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for the players for playing. Jason Riot is gonna be your champ number one, Naj number two, and Barbar number three. Rob, any final words you wanna say to the good old Chatteroonie here? Uh you know what I'm gonna say. Y'all are loved. Stay fucking hydrated. See you later, gamers. Later, gamers. Alrighty. Ooh. <clears throat> I'm really gonna regret yelling that much tomorrow. I can already feel it. The pain. Alright, everybody. If for those of you who are new, may not know that we have a little bit of a tradition here. We have a little bit of a tradition here. We're going to be playing our outro. And while we're playing our outro, I give a, a question, a prompt to the chat. For those of you in chat to play along. Um, well, I'm also just kind of looking for a raid. Anybody got any big raid targets for me? If you do, uh, drop it in the chat. But for everybody else, I'm going to play the outro here. And while I'm playing it, your prompt for the night is going to be that you are all playing Uno. But I could hit up Red Muffler Man. That could happen. Maybe I should. Yeah, okay. I think I'll raid Red Muffler Man after this. Um, everybody, you are all playing Uno. But 
you are all also George Costanza from Seinfeld. If you don't know who he is, just try your best. But thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I hella appreciate all of you. You can't just reverse me, Jerry! It was a six, Jerry! The line was underneath the round part! That's good, Flam. I think Flam is winning. This LARP sesh. Who played all the voice? Newman! Kramer, there's no Unos in this deck! Why did you play draw four on me? Look at Newman's hand! Thank you all very... Whoops. Uh, wait, get that out of here. Thank you all very much for watching and for hanging out. I greatly appreciate all of you. Thank you again, again, Sayjam, for the big raid. We're going to keep the trickle-down Sayjam economics going, and we're going to raid good old Red Muffler Man. Some of you may know him for his fantastic content creation, but he's a big-time gamer. So I want you all to say hi to him for me. And thank you all for hanging out. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. <laughs> See ya, everybody.